Hi, hi. Hey, everybody. Let me scroll back through chat to say hi to everybody. There are so many of you. Hey, Yuri, Ame, Shiroe, Void, Nokium, Connor, Ghost. Hey, Kai. Hey, everybody. Cass, welcome in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I'm i so excited and kind of terrified. <laughs> hey, Reichi. It's great to see you. Ah, oh, okay. So, I hope we get through chapter three today. I, I hope we do. I'm not ready to get crushed by another heartbreaking story. <laughs> but we'll see what happens, I guess. I, I'm just going to say this now. I know that there's a difficulty curve coming. <laughs> Please backseat me. I absolutely need it. I, I'll do my best to read more too, but but yeah. <laughs> I'm still confused with this game. You're so real for that, Ame. Don't worry. I think a lot of us are. <laughs> I think a lot of Port Moon fans are Project Moon. Why did I say Port? Project Moon fans are kind of in the same boat. <laughs> Hope is a strong word, but support will get you through. <sighs> okay, thanks, Shiroi. I don't forget we're still in the middle of chapter two. That is true. That is true. We're, we're close to the end. I think we're almost to the dungeon and we'll be in chapter three later on today. But yeah. Wish you have a problem. <laughs> Only one more chapter until we get to the ideal. I don't know if I should be worried, Void. <laughs> but all I want to see is himbos and femboys in the game. I mean, your taste is your taste. <laughs> I, I think you'll get your wish though, Connor. And I'll just switch on over. Yeah, I, I'm i excited. I, I have been making more of those modules <laughs> off stream just when I when I think about it. And yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Let me make sure you can all hear it. Perfect. <laughs> hey, hey, Genix, great to see you. <laughs> At least we're in HD now, absolutely. Absolutely. I there was a weird setting, but we're we're back in a high definition. For real. Let me make sure the window capture. I might need a different let me make a different capture window really quickly. <laughs> and yeah, I hope you've all had great days, great weeks. <laughs> without too much suffering. I know the, the holiday event has been out for a little while now. Almost that good mirror dungeon. <laughs> nice, Yuri. Oh wait, we're almost to the we're almost to mirror dungeons. That's exciting. I okay. I've heard a lot about how difficult they can be. It's fine. It's fine. Okay. Let me try a different capture screen. But who cares about that? <laughs> I I see Abe. I wish you a fun stream. Sadly, won't be able to join you today. I have a lot of work. Blind, good luck with your work. Everyone wish Blind good luck on whatever project they're working on. I, I hope it works out well. <laughs> okay, let me switch in. Specific window. Okay. There it is. This is so scuff. <laughs> this is so scuff. Okay. But now we should have. Okay, it's perfect. It's perfect. Yeah, some games are kind of weird with with capture, but I think we're better now. I'm happy today because I got I got pop tarts. Nice ghost. We we love a good pop tart. <laughs> but yeah, yeah. And blind, if you're catching the vod later, I I hope things turned out well. <laughs> but but yeah, okay. So, we, we drive, we <laughs> go right back to where we were. Oh, I'm excited to go play through these events later. I, I did a little bit of Luxcavation off stream, not a ton, but, but yeah, on to the unloving. <laughs> okay. It's okay for the event, you can farm it outside and the event duration is like 27 days, really? Okay, Yuri, I'll have to keep that in mind. <laughs> I was wondering why Yi Sang sounded like Ryo <laughs> Ryodia. Yeah. <laughs> also, welcome in Kitsune. Oh, wait. I forgot the soundtrack went so hard. 
This is great. I drive. That's right, Cass. <laughs> I'll, I'll just let you drive. I, okay. I'm not a bad driver. I feel like I have to, if I have to start with that, that's probably just a, a bad sign, a red flag. <laughs> Chat, are any of you good at driving? Is anyone really good at driving? I mean, all you have to do is from room. Right. Right. Okay. Colors, colors. Okay, okay. So it's really friendly. Okay, perfect. <laughs> hey, Umid. <laughs> Still have so much to do before. Oh, really? I I wish you the best of luck, Ryuchi. <laughs> There's so much. Okay. The gacha life is hard. And I think especially in Project Moon. But, I mean, who has time to grind through every single game? I, I don't. But I'm trying anyway. <laughs> so yeah, for when you read chat, you sound like a curious child just learning something new. I'll take that as a compliment on there. I, I am curious. I'm not a child, but, <laughs> but yeah. Doing story missions, doing mirror dungeons. Yeah, yeah, for real, you. I try. <laughs> I drive like SpongeBob, so I'm practically a pro. I mean, hey, SpongeBob's on TV. And if you're on TV, you're a professional, right? That's how that works, isn't it? <laughs> okay. I live somewhere where I don't need to drive, so I never learn to. You're so real for that, Nokia. I I know how to drive. I, I don't always have to, so it's kind of nice, but there are, there are some days. It's fine. It's fine. Okay. I'm trying not to think too much about all of this because... I mean, it's, I don't have to yet, but I know it's gonna get more more gritty soon. Remember to borrow some friend units as well to make it easier. Thanks, Yuri. I, I'll make it hap a habit of doing that. Last time, <laughs> I kept forgetting that I have to reselect a friend unit before every stage. So, so yeah, can I use them in dungeons? I feel like I, I know this. I, I don't think I can, right? And, okay. Well, oh, they keep getting longer. There's so many coins to flip. It's fine. <laughs> I, I'm still, I'm not eating my breakfast. Don't worry, I'm doing it now. Okay, Kai, be sure to eat food. Everybody, please take care of yourselves. <laughs> That's like super important. I, I know that watching stream is fun. I know that Port Moon brain rot goes hard, <laughs> but please, for the love of, everything <laughs> please take care of yourselves <laughs> if not just because it would make me smile to know you are okay how do we want to switch n as a friend unit i mean we could we could always go with ishmael the one that everyone loves it's fine is it reindeer reindeer is the one that everyone likes well we'll just stick with that it's okay <laughs> you did it I don't know what you did, but congrats, Umin. <laughs> congrats. Whatever it was. <laughs> you seem really excited. Friend units are usable in story dungeons, but not mirror. I see, Nokia. I see. Gotta learn what some seals do. <laughs> some IDs need set up. Okay, thanks, Kitsune. And feel free to, like, tell me, too, if I'm just oblivious to something. Okay. Oh yeah, we're, we're still with these undercover fixers. And we're fighting these, these syndicate members as we climb to the top of the tower. I think last time we ended off right after Sinclair's moment. <laughs> that was incredible. Don't worry, I also just win right my way out of most, most of the time. I, I totally get that, Cass. <laughs> I may or may not have been doing that myself. It's fine. It's fine. We're all professionals here. I won't, but th <laughs> thanks for the thought, Ambre. Chat, this this one. <laughs> please, please make sure Ambre takes care of themselves. <laughs> all I heard from Fora was, don't take care of yourself, so okay. Got it. <laughs> it's, not, it's not reverse day. 
is that a thing? I, I remember as a kid, a lot of people will talk about like, it's backwards day, or everything's the opposite. I, I don't think that was ever real. Oh, Heathcliff. <laughs> we love to see Heathcliff just go all out. Going with me will never be a mistake. <laughs> I love the confidence outbreak. <laughs> I wish I, I had that kind of confidence. And let's see. Okay, I like that. I like that. Rindy, you just build charge. Oh, you calling me? Oh, I'm not calling you anything, Kai. <laughs> But congrats on eating today. Everyone else who's had food, thank you. Oh, nice. Four, four coins. Oh, but we have to struggle. No choice there. Just be sure not to accidentally kill your sinners with, with mind whip. Mind whip, that's right. I think a lot of people wanted that to happen last time. The, like, the random targeting. Because it's a meme or whatever. <laughs> I guess it would have been funny, but, but yeah. You can't make me. <laughs> well, you're right. I'm not like your mom or anything, Ame. Connor. So, so yeah. Oh, brainwave focus. I totally... I need to read. I so need to read. There are all these... Okay, sinking, rupture. There's like burn. There are other status effects, right? You can press on the center's picture once to get shield. Oh, so like if we're struggling, right, Shiroi? Is that right? Damn, that was lucky. You got only five charges. <gasps> Welcome in. <laughs> yeah. I, I'm hoping streamer luck might just carry the day today, but we'll see what happens. <laughs> we'll see what happens, I guess. And, okay. I'm just looking at number of coins, really. <laughs> Any kind of colors. Kai. Nokia. Oh, did I miss? Did I call one of you Nokia or Kai? Wait, I I'm sorry, Kai. Four called me Nokia. No, I'm bad. I I think I was talking to both of you separately, Kai. You both did say something really similar. I I could be so wrong though. Okay. Lots of coins. Okay. Everyone's health is. Oh, I guess Gregor's kind of low. Okay. I'll think about this. I'll think about this more later. I mean, maybe not the best motto in life to have, but <laughs> I'll, I'll think about it later. It's fine. M maybe don't think like that, Chad. <laughs> There's counter, evade, and block, and you try to use it to minimize damage. Oh, I see Shiroi. Okay, so counter, evade, and block, and like min-maxing those things. A lot to focus on. Okay, why are we getting this move like every time? <laughs> Last time, I think we we tried for the Ish the Ishmael move gotcha, and it just it wasn't happening <laughs> for most of the stream. And then here we are, like more than once. That's crazy. Okay. I mean, this is fine. It's fine. We're not thinking too hard about it. Time to spread chaos. <laughs> I mean, go for it, ghost. <laughs> Portrait swaps to a defense action. Might be a block, counter, or dodge. Oh, okay. So it depends on the person and maybe even like the the ID here. Whether they Okay, let's test it. Oh, I see. Evade. Guard. Oh, okay. I kind of just want to see what they all do. This probably isn't the best idea. I kind of just want to know. I mean, better to practice now on the, the easier stages than later, I guess. Oh, or that. <laughs> that works too. I'll give pop tarts. <laughs> uh, ghost out here. Just handing out candy to chat. You aren't the chosen one. <laughs> oh, it's ID dependent? Really, Nokia? Okay. Ishmael laughed. We have our trump card. Oh, are they all talking about us? 
The right person to teach them something legit. Welcome, welcome. I don't know how to read your name. I see Noiria. <laughs> Ryoshu. <laughs> oh, Ryoshu. <laughs> okay. Best line in the game. <laughs> Best line in the game. <laughs> Wait. Then soak it in. I have no idea what these blanks are meant to be filled with. It's fine. <laughs> I'm still confused with this game mechanics, but at this point, <laughs> I'm too scared to ask Ame. Same. <laughs> I never knew it was possible for the <laughs> human tongue to give such detailed accounts of some <laughs> something so gruesome. Wow. The thug's eyes were twinkling. <laughs> That's funny. The wizardress of the tongue. I love her already. Yeah, ghost... Ryoshu just loves causing chaos, I guess. Which is fine. I love everyone's faces in this scene. You're right, Void. The art was so funny. Oh, Isahung. Not you too. Tongue is mightier than the sword. This is now my favorite scene. I feel like there's been a scene like this every chapter so far. Like, like, Sinclair's moment earlier, a few others. There's just been an iconic scene. Gregor's flashback, it was really sad, but like, it was so pretty in a terrifying way. I don't suppose the lineup was meant to be understood by the likes of us. <laughs> Umin, watch your language. <laughs> but you're so right. You're so right. That'd actually be really funny. Like, if people self-censored in chat, but not like, like, just as a joke, but then it looked to anyone new, like, <laughs> like, chat was just censoring themselves. That could be funny. Like, typing in symbols. You'll know game mechanics when you start to grind Mirror Dungeon. I, I guess that checks out. I'm hoping that. <laughs> I'm hoping that's how it works. Okay, the contestants. And is there anything else for us to collect? Nothing else yet. Okay. Ryoshu's unexpected lesson. Oh, is this is this the dungeon? Maybe not yet. We're at the top floor. We don't have enough wish power. Are we getting are we getting Rochia's backstory? Oh, Ame, I. I think it's a compliment. <laughs> it's not a lot, but it should be just enough. A wish sticker sheet. So you've had this... <laughs> you've had this saved up the whole time. I mean, look at Rojia Go coming prepared. Okay. Boss Rojia. <laughs> Here we go. Yeah, I feel like these fixers have been worn down a bit. Like, they were so, like, full of themselves, I think, in the beginning. And now that their their plan's kind of fallen apart, I, I feel like they'll go along with just about anything. There goes my cool entry. <laughs> I just love the scuff, the sus, and the hot characters. Oh, wait. I'm really curious about these new characters. I'm here to gamble for the right to access the basement. Oh. <laughs> Thanks for the hydrated stretch, ghost. I'll take a quick sip. And a big stretch. Ah, oh, everyone, please be sure to take care of yourselves. <laughs> it's pretty important. I just got the notification for the stream. <laughs> I mean... YouTube can be kind of a lot sometimes, Ame. I, I get it. Wish power whisker in a person. Oh, wait. Roji has the wish power whisker. Oh, no. This is... I, I misread that. <laughs> this is the, the wish power whisker. I wonder how this cutscene will play out. Ida. I've heard that name. I don't know who Ida is. <laughs> Crew boss, also known as Auto Tune. 
That's funny. A prosthetic. Okay, the voice acting's incredible. I, I love this. <laughs> I love the boss. Pretty sure Kai called you Ishmael just... Oh, yeah. Ida? Like, Idaho? <laughs> Maybe. Maybe, Amir. But yeah, I I could be wrong in, like, pronouncing names. If I am, please feel free to let me know. I had an urgent matter. All these character entrances. Wait, I love these character designs. They're so good. Sonia. Also, the, the color is purple. The name color. Is this one of the... I've heard people talk about colors in the game. And how they're like... Elevated people or something. It's been a while. They know each other. The Eurodiv... Eurodivia? Interesting. You're the one who left on your own. I... I'm half trying to get through the game and half trying to understand the lore. <laughs> I don't know if I have enough brain power for it, though. Okay, going over the rules. <laughs> I... Ghost, I, I feel like you're... You're just introducing yourself to the vibe of the game. All the characters are very <laughs> well-designed, I'd say. No cheats or sleights of hand. So, like... Interesting. Wish power is forbidden. So, but everyone's using... Like, obviously everyone's cheating. It's just a game of not getting caught, then? Hi, Gray! <laughs> Welcome back. Good morning and good vibes. <laughs> okay, getting the most chips. And then going down to the golden bow. <gasps> like with Virgilius. Yeah, Shiroe, exactly. A whole tunnel. Weird. I wonder if that other, like, rival group that took the golden bow from us last time has anything to do with that. How does everyone know about it? Easily confused. <laughs> what do you mean everyone's cheating? They seem like a trustworthy bunch. <laughs> You're so right, Nokia. You know what? This is the most stand-up, legal, just fair game I've ever seen. At, ever in history. You're so right. <laughs> I, I don't think anyone has ever thought about cheating. And the role is literally just there for... What's the word? Like semantics. Almost time for the difficulty wall. Hi, Nazreen. <laughs> I, I know. I know. I'm prepping. I'm pre <laughs> can you see? Can you see chat? This is my game face. Yeah. <laughs> I've been practicing. <laughs> no way. You're overthinking this. Am <laughs> I like getting gaslit by chat now? <laughs> I mean, if you think about it, cheating. <laughs> is kind of just like gaslighter. Maybe. Here we are at the same table. What is your goal? To win? What a line. <laughs> oh, padlock and battery pack. I, I feel like we can workshop some more creative nicknames, to be honest. <laughs> like, like, what's giving battery pack? I, I'm just kind of curious. <laughs> or even Padlock. That Ting Tang boss looks like an off-brance of Vera. <laughs> that, that's funny, does it? <laughs> Stop right there. Okay. I I feel like we're about to get really sad. Rocha backstory. Or, or something. Also, I love the art. The boss. <laughs> it's like, what are those like Star Wars robots called? Droids? Just like a tiny little hand. <laughs> For a world with so much technology, this seems like a very old-fashioned like poker or a card game. 
There's a glossary for the game. If you go to theater in the main menu, oh, Dante's notes. I'll have to check those, Shiroe. Thanks. <laughs> as long as the brain is still human, the head won't send any claws or arbiters after you. Oh, really void. So that explains why this crew boss can be here. All into the end. Sad from the poker game. <laughs> Can't relate. <gasps> Pull your sleeve up. Oh, and the music just got crazy. You just put one of those wish stickers you got on your arm. Okay, this has got to be like... Let's see what's there. I don't know if Dante's notes are already unlocked. Oh, I'll keep that in mind then for the future Nokia. My great-grandfather was... Oh, really? Really, ghost? Sounds like quite... <laughs> quite the story. You two might be in cahoots. So we still don't know what's on Rochi's arm. Okay. Well, it's a lot of build-up for just like, just maybe roll your sleeve up a little bit. <laughs> I think notes are unlocked at late chapter three. I see, mister. Also, hi. <laughs> Welcome in. Thanks for the advice. All of this is familiar. Do you really have to be petty about this? Weird. I pray <laughs> Ryoshu can carry. I hope so too. I hope so too, Shiroe. <laughs> if you find- Oh, so Roji is turning this into a bet. If you find nothing, will you fold and walk out? Wow. Okay. Yeah, from what I've heard. Oh, wow. But that, that sounds like quite a reputation ghost. <laughs> well, let's see what happens. Is the boss right? I, I love the banter they have. <laughs> and hearing, like, a human voice and the auto-tune voice. <laughs> and Ricardo uses my hair coupons. Just spam all attacks. Oh, and Bray gets staggered. I don't know who Ricardo is yet, Nazarene, but I'll keep that in mind. <laughs> Let's confirm then. Okay. <gasps> There's no way. Imagine if Roja was just like casually rubbing, like on purpose to make people sus and nothing was going on. What happens to the loser then? Whale Ishmael time for hair coupons. <laughs> or no, it's, it's coupons, right? There's no point in, re in removing a prosthetic hand. The crew boss is really falling apart over here. False accusations need to be taken care of. Oh. What happened? Wait. Can you please give me a warning? Look at the crease and... Ugh. So there was, like, the remnants of a person inside. It's a trash compactor. So anytime someone loses or cheats, this happens. Or is Sonia behind this? Wait. Original reference was the Korean comic, Taza. Oh, and it's cinematized later. Really? Interesting. So it's like like a Robin Hood situation? Or is this all like something set up by, by Sonia to get Raja back in that organization? Undoubtedly. Got garaged? Don't worry, that's chapter five. You're like a month or two away. Hey. <laughs> I feel like I can make good time, she in a way. But okay. I, I won't worry about it too much. Yeah. Oh, robot robots are banned in the city. Unfortunately, the door we're leaning against. So they all tumble through. I. Is it bad that I still don't exactly know what's going on? 
I think we're, we're coming up to a confrontation, right? We eavesdropped on the table. Okay, and who do we pick this time? Let's see. I mean, I, I'd be fine. I'd be fine with the Hong Lu. <laughs> and I'll just kind of pick one. I, I want to cycle through a lot of these to try out as many of your different units as I can. <laughs> Remember, 10 cans with brains in them are not robots. <laughs> I feel like that would be a gray area though, Nazarene, right? Like if I were a person put into a, a robot, would that make me a robot? So we're all here. Sonia laid his hand of cards on the table. Okay, this is sus. This is so sus. Something's happening. I don't trust Sonia. A clap filled the room. Oh yeah, and what's Ida's stake in all of this? You kind of figured it out. Sonia's the king of gaslighting. It's all Roche's fault. k is best. <laughs> Oh, Ame, I'm I'm playing on PC. <laughs> I, I don't know if my phone could handle the, the mobile version. And I think it's easier to stream this way, but I've heard it's good both places. You're gonna push on with force regardless of who won. You had to win this poker match to gain the right to an underground place. We fight to go to the place of the poker match and we just want the match. Oh, <laughs> thanks, Nokia. Yeah, I think I'm, I'm pretty clear on the bigger details, but like, I don't know. The, the character motives and everything. I was starting to get bored of sitting around too. Oh, that art. I mean, it's not bad art at all. Okay. Favored. Boys hate. Bleed. I need to read what these do. Bleed when tossing an attack coin, take fixed damage by the effect's potency. Haste. Oh, the keywords are right there. <laughs> Sonia, Ida, and the robot when were the chef the chef of different syndicates. Or the chiefs of different syndicates that want to gain those rights too. I I don't know if Sonia really wanted or or is it like they Sonia let us win so that we would go down and like clear out any sort of threats or anomalies down in the basement and then Sonia could just kind of come in afterward sort of like the the post team <laughs> and just collect the bow or wait until we're all worn down I don't know I'm reluctant to try <laughs> no worries Ame I I feel like it's not as complicated as it sounds I mean there are these like when right options that let us just auto battle at least for i feel like that's pretty reliable through the first couple of chapters but but yeah hey elemental <laughs> welcome back welcome to the originally a very difficult fight oh it, this one was nerfed i i didn't know that i guess i'm kind of lucky then <laughs> i don't know if my my brain could have handled it Wait until Thor learns about Uptie 4 and WAW Egos. Okay. On one hand, I'm nervous because, like, the game gets more complicated. But, <laughs> but on the other hand, I'm excited. Like, I don't know. It's nice to know that the game isn't just the same thing over and over. Like, with Arknights, it's like I learn about a new mechanic every time. And, like, there's always that thing to look forward to. I don't know, maybe it's just me. <laughs> but, but yeah. I see your sinners are still in one piece. Yeah, Umi. Yeah, I think we're doing better than last time. Yeah. <laughs> I think that's safe to say. Okay, attack power down and paralyze. Target loses sanity points on a fade. Okay. Let's just... And... What are all these attacks called again? Are they just coins? Are they attacks? <laughs> okay. Every chapter they had to nerf something? Really, Kitsune? Well, I, I'm kind of grateful as a straber. 
because I, I feel like if I got stuck on a part of a game for too long, I don't know, it'd be kind of hard to get through. But don't read for it. Just play. Fun. <laughs> Thanks, Kai. Thanks. I'm going to try the event. Good luck, Kai. Good luck. I, I hope it works out well for you. I'm overwhelmed. <laughs> it's okay, Amre. If you need to take a sec, it's fine. <laughs> Breathe. Ole. <laughs> exactly, Void. I I want to know the stories behind all of these IDs. Like the, the alternate worlds and everything. Oh, there's... <laughs> we have so many moves, and there's just one person left. <laughs> so this is a gacha game. Yeah. <laughs> it, I feel like it's... It's definitely different from a lot of gotchas, but, but yeah, it's absolutely gotcha. Very nice. Oh, look at us with these rolls. <laughs> look at our coin flips. <laughs> we love to see it. But you can beat it without the gotcha units. This fight was nerfed because Ida and other mariachi could hit really hard. Oh, and it's before excavation. So if someone was blocked here, they couldn't they couldn't farm. I I could see how that would be kind of tough. But I'm glad that <laughs> I don't really have to worry about it. Look at us go. Look at us go. Oh and wait. One more stage. We're so close. Oh, here's the... Are these called dungeons or just like... So we're going downstairs, right? I saw someone who was playing using nothing but the base IDs a while back. That's so impressive, Kitsune. I, I feel like I'll have to go watch. <laughs> Maybe I could learn a thing or two. So we made it to the elevator. And once the group quieted down... Okay. Sada's question. So did Orochia really not cheat at all? One question at a time. <laughs> this fight was a pain on day one. Now we are the pain instead. <laughs> also, hey Zeppeli. <laughs> Welcome in. It's great to see you again. Oh, and hey Nikita. <laughs> Yo, what's up with this title? <laughs> okay, I, I haven't seen any spoilers. I've just heard that chapter three has a certain arc with Sinclair. <laughs> but yeah, basically Faust and Isang created the, the engine of Mephistopheles, which allows this tomfoolery to happen. <laughs> so basically it's their fault, right? Is that what you're saying, Nasreen? <laughs> you deliberately made it look like... Oh yeah. <laughs> I've read somewhere about it's... Oh, it's bad for gotchas to nerf things. I feel like it varies, Abe. But you can doesn't... <laughs> doesn't mean you should. This is true. This is true, mister. <laughs> also, you can claim your rewards. Okay, I'll have to do that, Chiroe. If I'm being real... Some desires given labels. There's someone with... Oh, so like, Rogia was so confident that like no wish power was needed. Is that kind of what the story is trying to say? J Core. Project Moon doesn't care too much. <laughs> the game is just a normal game, then it's gotcha. Oh. <laughs> Don't worry for it, Chapter 5 Dungeon is really easy. <laughs> Oh, okay, Nazri. I'll keep that in mind. <laughs> in general, it's... Oh. Oh, I get that, Nokia. It do be a Sinclair chapter. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm looking forward to it. Project Moon is above the law. <laughs> You'll either like or hate the main enemy. So there's, like, no one between. In chapter 3. I see you. <laughs> Wait, I love this line. I love this line. We don't talk about chapter three until... <laughs> until censored. Ryuji, please come back later. Or like, 
say something again later when we reach that point. I, I want to know what censored is. <laughs> Perhaps I shouldn't have asked at all. When this company doesn't need nerfing, it needs buff. <laughs> it needs buffing. I, I mean, isn't that kind of like nerfing elemental? Like, like it does the same thing. It makes the game easier. The cavern. Oh, we're going down. Pickaxes and guards. Note of warning that we wouldn't reach the bottom so easily. Or are those like cages too? Why do we have to be so sneaky? So we could have gone down no matter what. Slosh is bad. <laughs> Wait, I'm getting mixed signals here. Again. Is Slosh good? Is Slosh worthwhile? <laughs> I don't know, Amir. Maybe. I I feel like I, I've heard that sound before. I'm not sure. <laughs> so they've all dug out this space. And they have vaults. <laughs> Don't you? I mean, if this is what you want to see, then, then take it out by all means. <laughs> hey, Pookie, welcome back. <laughs> Good morning. <laughs> yeah, we're we're playing through kind of a heavy game, kind of a complicated game. Chat's helping me along, and we're about to go down into the basement. Greg, <laughs> Greg, love. <laughs> can't argue with that. Gregor's kind of giving me... I feel like it's literally just height. Is anyone else getting Levi Ackerman from Gregor? Like, the tiniest bit. The tiniest bit. Wang Lu, I don't know if those are pets. <laughs> we don't talk about... <laughs> we don't talk about Chapter 3 until we start talking about Chapter 3. Understood, Nikita. <laughs> First rule of Fight Club. <laughs> Slash is God. If Ezio can clear Rail 2... It's doable. Okay. Okay, I'll keep that in mind, Shiroe. Oh, Yuri. Oh. It should be possible. Okay. Slosh is a mindset. <laughs> Using weak ID to clear content can be fun. That is absolutely a statement, Nokia. Is this in fashion? Oh, so Hong Lu's. Hong Lu. <laughs> that was kind of funny. Uh, Hong Lu's. I feel like Hong Lu's come a long way since the very beginning. Okay. So let's savor this last bit of easy. I, I say easy very lightly content for chapter three. Where do we switch on? Maybe this group. Oh, I don't think I can pick. Okay. Yeah, I don't think I can pick any of yours for these stages. Slosh is awful, and anyone who <laughs> anyone who denies it is either joking <laughs> or has lost the plot. Some strong statements coming up. Security guards and those creatures. Oh, Gregor. <laughs> Just getting pushed in. This song just said something. They got me flabbergasted? Really? Wait. What did E song say, Nazarene? So Gregor stumbles forward. Oh. They seem to pause for a moment in awkwardness. Oh. I, I, I know these are rats. I know I'm not supposed to care, but. Oh, they're debtors. We're not after the cash. And I'm helping. <laughs> Gregor's literally just the chill bro character. 47. Is this how many times this debtor is like, hit stone? Oh, they're counting, aren't they? Oh. <gasps> okay. Is it just me, or do Ryoshu's eyes look a lot like Virgil's? Is that like on purpose or coincidence? I don't know. <laughs> and Sinclair. 
Just because he's short <laughs> doesn't mean he's Levi. You're right, Void. That was a <laughs> that was a generalization. I feel like the attitude, like the sort of reluctant, laid back. I don't know. It kind of felt like like a Hanji and and Levi interaction almost. Like like pushing out Grecker. <laughs> I could see that happen. You forgot to pick a friend ID. I don't know if I could this time, Kyer. I I looked. Next time we we pick characters before a dungeon, I'll I'll take a look. I prefer oh Molar Ishmael for my sinking build. Really Kitsunair. Oh and security. So here comes our fight. Chapter three is all about Sinclair. Okay, Meteor. I'm excited. Also hi. <laughs> We can't live like this anymore. <laughs> to tie people up and force them to dig. <laughs> okay, Gregor. Gregor's so baby girl here. Is Gregor trying to rally all the <laughs> all the miners? That's funny. Miners like diggers, not like kids. I send it on Discord. You have to pick before Tanjen. Yeah. Yeah, when we picked earlier. <laughs> I, I might have missed it, Kai. I, I didn't see the, like, the edit at, at the top. Coincidence, most likely. Ah, I see, Blow. Also, hi. <laughs> yeah, I had my hopes up. I really did. You know, see people with the same colored eyes. It's like in FNAF, when there were all those theories about... <laughs> about col colors in the game. Wait, what is... is this German? I feel like I, or like a, a European word. Okay, so security's coming. Oh, and they're opening those cages. A good few characters in the Fort Moonverse have glowing red eyes. Oh, so it's, I see void. It just happens sometimes. Oh, and these, ew. Okay, I guess, at least we have some nice music. Oh, this is one of these. So we have to be sure Okay. Oh, wait, I see, I see. So to make sure they're, they're matching up, right? Okay. You can't pick friend IDs during story dungeons. I, I see. <laughs> Oda's, Oda's eyes look <laughs> more like some Z girl. Okay, so two coming this way. Clashing. Clashing. Okay. Sanity. Rolling. I, I'm trying to pay more attention. <laughs> oh, welcome back, ghost. What did I just hear? <laughs> There's a lot going on. There's a lot going on. Okay, that, that didn't feel too bad. Our sanity seems okay. Neutral or... Oh, that's the same. Okay. Oh, and you're staggered. And... Okay. I think we'll see how this works out. Oh, Shape Benkelster is a family-friendly way to say Shace, which means... Oh! <laughs> Shace? I, I probably shouldn't be saying these words on stream. <laughs> thanks, Void. Thanks, thanks for the lesson. Gregor speaks German from time to time. Oh, because the book he's from is a German book. I see. Okay, and we're trying to go... If we go straight to Cory 2, we still have a choice between two options. Okay. I felt like that team was fired. Each of the, the abnormality monsters relate to a different sin. Those ants are wrath, I think. Oh, and would these like be sloth, the slaves? And I don't know what you would be. Interesting. Oh, and we're back to this, this style of fighting. Great. <laughs> it seems a lot simpler. Okay, two, three. Oh, you can pick friend IDs and story dungeons. Okay, Kai, I think I... Maybe I didn't pick soon enough? Gregor is German, yes. Oh, technically Jewish, if you recall correctly. Oh, but the book is German. I see. 
That sounds like such an interesting... I've got to read up on these characters. There's a required reading list that I... I haven't really taken a dent out of yet. Someone posted it in Discord. <laughs> but... Yeah. Yeah. I feel like I'll have such a better understanding of these characters if I just read. But Port Moon players can't read. <laughs> so what do I do? <laughs> if you want to swear, swear in different languages. I mean, fair. <laughs> That's fair, Ame. Okay, I think we're making good time. Quarry 4 or Explosives Bay. Okay. This one's different from the others, which makes me curious. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Okay. And it's more of this. The rear. I'm trying not to overthink this. I feel like I'm getting faster. Does the reading list start with? I think there might even be something before that, Nikita. But yeah, <laughs> it's on the list too. There's this really, there's like this, this picture and it, there's like a timeline and everything. I remember seeing like Rashomon and <laughs> Like Don Quixote, some other books. Okay. This is fine. I've read most of the novels and stories the characters are from. Really meteor. Wait, okay. If you ever want to share some insight, <laughs> feel free to enlighten me. I, I'd love to hear. You can pick, because I just. <gasps> Nazreen! <laughs> we can be friends. <laughs> It's mostly color matching. Yeah. Oh, and also, okay, I don't know why I'm just <laughs> noticing this, but so there are these like designs, like that, like the fire or the, the wave on the side of the, the shape that like might show how strong an attack is. And like the bigger the, d the design that like jets out, the stronger it is. I feel like I should have noticed that sooner. <laughs> but you know me. <laughs> I said most since the Odyssey is so long and I haven't even <laughs> I haven't even started on the book Hong Lu is based on since it's so long. Really? I Yeah. Yeah. I feel like it would take me a really long time. I, I feel the like not wanting to read something because there's so much there. You don't need to read books to understand the characters. Oh yeah. <laughs> Nintendo Kai. I, I was just thinking is like an, an extra little understanding or like appreciation for the writing. Maybe you'll see a callback or a reference or a parallel. I don't know. Okay, shelter and then another layer down. All right then. Let's see what happens. Oh, I have read nice. Wuthering Heights in Moby Dick before Limbus Company. I. I, I think I had to read Moby Dick for school or something. Meteor. <laughs> nice. I I feel like I've heard of Wuthering Heights. Favored, favored. Okay, so lots of clashing. Dominating. Okay. Unopposed, unopposed. Okay. Okay. Let's see how this... <laughs> Again, the music going so hard. <laughs> we we absolutely love to see it or, or hear it, I guess. There's one thing I'll say. The book Heathcliff is, oh, much worse of a person than really. So this is like, this is nice Heathcliff <laughs> compared to the book. Oh, it's Tear of Skill. I see Mr. EX, or Mr. X. <laughs> Kanto 6 is supposedly about Heathcliff. We finally get to meet his Catherine. Okay, I'll have to go read this book. I feel like that might be a while before the chapter comes out, but I'll have to go read that book. What else do we have? Dominating. Unopposed. Okay. We'll see how this works. <laughs> yes, the design change. The skill is one, two, or three. Okay. <laughs> Thanks, Nokia. I, I thought so, but I don't know. Before I've made assumptions about games, like in the past, and just been so wrong. <laughs> oh, Dream of the Red Chamber is a very, 
very long novel. Okay. Okay. <laughs> it's fine. If I if I read a page a day, maybe more than a page. And also, some of those. Oh, I don't know why. The optimization just went way down. <laughs> I think it's better now. It like slowed down for a sec. Did you see that? <laughs> Everyone was a horrible person in Wuthering Heights. <sighs> I have to read it. If it has tragedy, then. <laughs> No, I have to go check it out. Oh, hunger. Why is the wet dog <laughs> W-A-W? At least Ishis is reasonable. I, I feel like I'll understand that later, Nazarene. But I feel you. I'll, I'll hype you up anyway. <laughs> what, what Nazarene said. <laughs> okay. Are the debtors coming? The debtors kept on swinging. Oh, they're counting down. Oh, so it's like a sentence. Just a coincidence. Hold on to that Moby Dick knowledge when you reach Kanto 5. <laughs> okay. Okay, Shirue. Will do. Molding chamber. Okay. Well, let's, let's keep going. Through the dungeon and across the river to Grandma's house we go. <laughs> It's a freight container. Peculiar materials. Does it kind of look like these are different doors? Like it's a game show. Which door will you choose? <laughs> a colorful designed container. I've got a bad feeling. <laughs> oh, you love the music? And you haven't heard of Melee music yet? <gasps> okay, that is true, Meteor. I have heard some of these. Or I guess one song. It was so good. The like end of chapter one, I was I was kind of in shambles. I've seen this face on like a thumbnail somewhere. You want to get beat? Hurdly. What is happening? What is that noise? <laughs> the game of death. Ah. They redoubled excavation efforts from this point onward. Oh, these are augmented humans? They're pointed right at us. <laughs> You're so real for that, Dante. Try to go for those question mark chambers. They might have buffs. Okay, that that's what I normally go for, since their symbols are a bit different from the rest. But, but thanks for the advice. I'll keep that in mind. Again with the music. It, it just feels so much more, I think, than like... Like the typical gacha games. Okay. And... I, I think I've said this before. It kind of feels like a sonic soundtrack. Like in a stage or something. I love the city I live in. <laughs> Debtors? Wait, Nikita, is that not how it's said? Is it debtors? Debt? Debtors? I don't know. <laughs> For me, it's either fly my wings Oh, or, and there is heard no more. <sighs> okay, Meteor, I'll keep an eye out for those. I don't know what the name was for the, the chapter one ending. I'm really excited though for more melee. That's not melee. Oh, you mean this isn't melee, Nasty. Roblox, <laughs> Roblox man, that's funny. Okay, lots are staggered, dominating, favored. And a post. Okay. We can do this. We can do this. We can do this. <laughs> Philip's theme? Maybe. Maybe. I don't know what you're talking about. I love Philip as a character. Such a well-written character. I'll look forward to Philip then. <laughs> the abnormality is actually the machine in the background. Oh, like way back there or something? Interesting. Or the one that like released the creatures? Okay. And we can just use win rate. Perfect. Philip did nothing wrong. <laughs> nice to see. I see so many Philip enjoyers in chat. <laughs> oh, Philip is in Library of, of Ruina. Really? Interesting. The lore, the connections. <laughs> oh, Olympus Company reference. I, I see Nikita. I see. <laughs> oh, here we go. In the middle of the factory. This feels like Poppy Playtime. Like so much. 
Which button will we press? Oh, they all give us an ego gift. Gain three ego gifts, but we have to press them all at once. Chat. Absolutely. The vending machine began to rattle. Before the sinner could finish, the machine exploded. Hey, but we got three ego gifts, okay? Okay, what's a little tiny explosion? <laughs> okay, damage, speed, HP. Perfect. Alright then, here we go. No, Philip did everything wrong. That's what makes him so well written and amazing. Okay, I'm excited to meet Philip. I I really am. Okay. Neutral. Those are both the same. Favored. Oh, we should probably counter. I I, I'm just testing a lot of these features. <laughs> so if we're struggling, we can counter or something. So we could shield and unopposed, unopposed. Okay. Okay. Let's see how this works. <laughs> Careful referencing other... Oh yeah, maybe no huge spoilers from other Project Moon things, since this is my first game, but... I, I don't mind acknowledging or like, I don't know, having inside <laughs> Fort Moon jokes in chat. A small price to pay for the ego gifts. <laughs> Worth it. Absolutely, Cass and Nazarene. Oh, we've been staggered. Okay. Okay. Let's try. Dominating, dominating. And... Okay, we can't do anything for for Sinclair. Sinclair, is this roguelike mode? I oh yeah, it's it is a dungeon. What Kai said, shrapnel wounds for toys. Sounds like a fair deal. <laughs> we got one of the parts. Let's deal with the rest like this. Or are we about to save Sinclair? <gasps> we so did it. We so did it. <laughs> oh, except it keeps healing. Oh weird. Okay. And also, okay, that's just like a stake or something. Dominating. Final Philip fight. I'm not saying the real name of the fight because spoilers. <gasps> okay. Okay. I'll, I'll keep that in mind. Struggling. What about you? Favored. Dominating. I hope I'm doing- I hope I'm doing this okay. They resurrect for a certain number of times, so be careful. Okay. I see. Oh, and some of those were unopposed with those other- I shouldn't be focusing on, on one enemy. You're so right. I just really wanted to get this one out of the way. <laughs> it seems like it would cause more trouble than the rest. Okay. So it keeps healing. How many more times does it have this? It gains one surgery. Oh, when the count reaches five. So we're so close. We're so close. Okay. Struggling neutral. Neutral. Bring out Heathcliff. Okay. I'll, I'll, I'll do that next time. <laughs> Preemptively. Where Sinclair gets staggered and for it and pay attention. I know, Kai. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. Though, I I see now. Unopposed. So we could use Faust's... Okay. Is this better? Defense. And unopposed, unopposed. Okay. Let's do this, let's do this. <laughs> hi, hi, Yavi. <laughs> Yeah, we're in the middle of a, a stage. It's fine. We're in a dungeon with some harder battles. Apparently, chapter three is even harder. So we'll see what happens. But I hope you're having a great day. I was going to make a joke, but then I remembered it was spoilers. Thanks, Nasty. Soon, soon, please remember that joke. I want to hear it. How do they keep coming back? 
Maybe they're not alive. That way they wouldn't be able to die. We're getting philosophical here. <laughs> we have ego. We can so use ego. I haven't been using it because I was saving. I guess we could like use one as a treat this time. Shady facility. Keep fighting or investigate. I mean, but let's investigate. Let's see what happens. Investigating the factory. Okay. Go for the big one. Oh, it's staggered. Okay, perfect. We can so do this. We can so do this. Neutral. Neutral. So they've all been addressed. And we can go for this big one. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Heck yes, the day is great. That's right. <laughs> That's right. It's it's a new day. The holidays are depending on what you celebrate. Maybe still going. Maybe maybe over. <laughs> The new year is coming. There's a lot to be excited about. And it may be a little bit sad with the, with this game, but it's fine. <laughs> What's the golden number? It's your speed. If your speed is lower, you can't redirect attacks. Oh, okay. Thanks, Kyer. Some kind of toy plant. Control panel. Do you love the city you live in? What should you press? Press the button to stop or proceed. I feel like we have to keep going. We have to keep going. Your Otis just, I, I know, I know. Proceed with the input. Do we have to keep saying yes? For at chapter five, you're gonna be spamming ego because your, <laughs> your life depends on it. Nazreen, <laughs> I, I just wanna enjoy my, my, my easy chapter two gaming in peace. <laughs> But it's fine. I'll develop an ego <laughs> just for just for all of you, chat. <laughs> okay. Is this a test? Do you love the <laughs> spam what you want? Don't listen to chat. <laughs> One of the things I love about Limbus, apart from the story and music, is the gameplay because of how unique it is. Okay, I've got to say, no. There was that thing about like the number five. Okay. I'll say no. Site burial. Okay. Are we all lose? <gasps> Wait, it's fine. It's fine. Maybe that wasn't the best option. Now we're all staggered. <laughs> Is that Roland or Riasad? Wait, it's literally just Merceau. Okay, it's ego time. Wait, it's not ego time. It's not ego time. Said. Yes, too many times? Really? I, I see Kitsure. <laughs> okay. One-sided guard. Defense. Like, okay. When, right? I, it's fine. It's fine. Just go. They, they go, just die after. That's 30 HP gone, but the robo was more weak. Oh, really, Umin? So it, like, worked out for us. Maybe. Oh, and the robot attacked. Oh, a lot of us. Our sanity's really low. Okay. You're in panic. Oh, is the big robot done for? I feel a little bit better, but I've got to think this through a bit more before going into the stage. Okay, they're all back up. Gregor's holding on. Oh, Gregor. Okay, we can do this. Half the team died. I I know Kitsune. But we we pulled through. <laughs> I'll have to I'll have to make maybe mix and match a better team this time. Is is Marceau good to keep in? Good ego gift. Okay. Maintenance point. Oh, we're going this way. Okay. Or no. Oh, there. I see her. There's like this little, like, save. Okay. Lock up generators. Everyone revives once you reach a safe room. This, it's even the harder robot. Okay. Who should I add on the team? Because I'm thinking... Honglu. Okay. We have, like, a three-star or so. Ishmael, maybe? 
Or so is a good tank. Use your three star IDs. Okay. So maybe threes and twos. Or so is a good tank. Rain shower at Heathcliff. Can I switch out IDs? Okay. Ego skill. Okay. Or did I have to do that before? I can't use the three star Heathcliff. Okay. It's fine. It's fine. Oh, this Gregor isn't that good. I see. Locked in for the dungeon. Remove Gregor for now. Oh, Faust is good. Okay. Okay. This feels pretty good. I guess we could switch and... Okay. Does anyone have... What's... We need more sloth, I, th I think. But... I don't know who gives sloth. Oh, Hong Nu does. I, I think I'll just go back here. This feels fine. This feels fine. Oh, Hong Lu, Merceau, Don Quixote, Heathcliff, Sinclair. Okay, the next time I can switch out a team, I'll, I'll try that combo, Kai. Maybe trying Yi Song's ID would be good. XP. Okay. I feel a little bit more confident. Just a little bit. Maybe this is like... <laughs> I mean, this isn't one of those moments where someone says they're confident and then they just die. Right? This won't be that moment. We have to believe in ourselves, like, like we learned earlier, and that 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 match at the top of the tower. We don't need wish power. We just need confidence. And let's see. Okay. Yeah, I think that's fine. We'll see how this works out. Four, I just build for gloom and wrath resources. Oh, okay. Gloom and wrath. <laughs> next time. Next time. I don't know if we can really build a team out until we get to the end of the, the dungeon, but next time. <laughs> as soon as we get to chapter three, I, I'll i take a, a deep dive and, and really build out the team. Gloom and wrath. Okay. If you want to balance sins, you can use egos. Yeah. It's not a combo. It's just a, a little bit better IDs. Overall, without skill three. Oh, I see. Okay. And we should probably go to the paint shop to get in. Exiting the passage, we see a group of cyborgs. The game of death again. Take on the challenge. Rogion gains SP. Oh. Okay. Let's try the challenge. <laughs> Honglu doesn't have, oh, a bad ID. They're all really good. Really meteor. Rogion healed. And then we have a roll. Wrath advantage. Okay. What do we use? This should be reasonable. I kind of want to use Merceau. The threshold is seven. Okay. You uptie three your characters. Since skill threes are really good and you unlock the passive. We barely passed that. We barely passed the check. <laughs> okay. But all that matters is we made it. We can keep going. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. Oh, there are more checks. Yellow six. We have to get, how is this very high odds? To get a, a nine, and our highest roll is a nine. Three to nine, four to 13. Okay. Marceau, please, <laughs> please pull through. Okay. One more ID healed, spear. Okay, lots of rolls, which I guess shouldn't be surprising. <laughs> We are at like a, a casino. Threshold is 11. Your sanity dictates how likely you are to roll heads. Oh. Oh, we had 45 sanity. Okay, but we still, we still lost. It's fine. 
it's fine. Let's move back. And then we have to get up to... Okay. Okay. Quality control. A high sanity makes heads more likely. So two heads with 45 sanity is something like 90%. I see. That, that makes so much more sense. <laughs> okay. Okay. So let me scroll back and see the team that... Okay. Honglu, Merceau, Don Heathcliff, and Sinclair. Okay. He's good. Let, let's see how this He's works out good. for us. <laughs> it's all your fault, Ishmael. It's it's my fault, Nazarene. <laughs> Ishmael did nothing wrong. Okay. So now we just match up everything. It's like it's like one of those matching games for cats. Right? I mean, no, it's not really. <laughs> The music makes me feel more confident. Like, <laughs> like we can do this, maybe. Okay, unopposed, dominating, neutral. Oh, nice. Okay. I, I'm trying to pay so much attention. So charging, the charge count, coin flips. Oh wow, Sinclair, going hard. When Ray is your friend, okay. When Ray, <laughs> don't fail us now. <laughs> hey Raven, welcome in. <laughs> Hope you're having a great, great evening. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Please, if you're tired, please be sure to sleep. <laughs> that, that's that's super important. That goes for everybody else too. I, I know a lot of you. A lot of you have busy lives, so, yeah. <laughs> Please, remember to sleep. It's important. I I literally cannot stress that enough. <laughs> and, oh look at that, look at that. <laughs> Don't trust your sanity, trust your instinct. I saw enemies toss a coin five faces in a row with 50% chances. <gasps> okay, what is it people say? I've heard like... <laughs> I've heard like people say it's the the heart of the cards or something. I feel like I should know where that's from. But okay. I'll <laughs> I'll trust my instinct, I guess. Isn't there also I also don't know where this is from. Ultra instinct? Isn't that that's from some that's from an anime or a manga or something. Sleep is for the weak. <laughs> oh, heart of the cards is from Yu-Gi-Oh! Okay, the Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel is on my list of games to play. I, I'd i love to like, I'd love to learn it, like have someone teach me. So that might happen in the future. But, but yeah, <laughs> it was recommended a couple of times. Remember RNG hates you. <laughs> Ugh, RNG, can we ever make amends? <laughs> I'll, I'll, can we talk about this RNG? <laughs> I know we're on bad terms, but, but. <laughs> Ultra Instinct, oh, from Dragon Ball. I feel like I have to... I've heard so many Dragon Ball references. And chat, I'm sorry. <laughs> I haven't seen it or read it. It is also on my list. So many people seem to really like it. Master Duel is actually really free to play. Oh. Well, that, that bumps it up on my list. <laughs> we we love budget-friendly gaming. Absolutely. Okay, progress saved. Forward base. As someone who clearly didn't know how to build decks in the Library of Ruina. <gasps> Project Moon games are 75% RNG. <laughs> Void? How big is that list? Okay. The list has, like, everything. Just about everything on it. <laughs> But, yeah, I, I don't know if I can keep up. I keep getting games, I keep getting anime and manga and other things. The reading list for <laughs> for Olympus Company, I it grows faster than I can make it smaller. It's crazy. Oh, most people only saw Dragon Ball Z, not the original. Interesting. Oh, okay, because like, there are so many movies and anime series 
Are they all like in the same timeline for Dragon Ball? Or is it more like Mobile Suit Gundam that has a lot of different like iterations or whatever? You'll experience that this game's chances of coin toss are somewhat wrong while you play Mirror. Ah, <laughs> uh, okay. Next, next, I'm sure I'll be tra <laughs> traumatized by seeing coins in real life. I'll be like out somewhere getting, I don't know what I'd be getting, something. I'd like see a nice server and like pay <laughs> and then I'd get change in return and just be so traumatized. It's RNG for those who don't know how to manipulate RNG. Elemental, I'm all ears. <laughs> Teach me your ways. Oh, that's right. Didn't you get through a really hard stage without any deaths? That must be so impressive. Oh, Merceau. Come on, Merceau, please tank. <laughs> sprinkle, okay. Twinkle, sprinkle, spinny. <laughs> what a name for a robot. The voice troubles. What is your desire? Put me on. What do you say? Put on the shoes or refuse. I feel like it's a trap, right? It's gotta be a trap. There's no way. <laughs> There's no way putting on the shoes will do good things. But I kind of want to. I kind of really want to. Okay. Here we go. Let's put on the shoes. It's all smooth. <laughs> Wait, Shiroi. <laughs> Fine. Uh, probably. It's it's for the lols. That, that's totally why I did it. I, I wasn't fooled by this game. By this robot. No. <laughs> Not at all. Or is going to be crying with Mirror Dungeon 3H. Okay. Okay. <laughs> like, every ID has a unique attack animation. Are we staggered? That's not bad. Oh, but our- is our sanity going down? Oh, it really is. There's- is this the last wave? This feels sus. Like, there's more to this fight. Or do we have another level below this? It'll make you feel beautiful. Cass, I do- <laughs> I do feel beautiful, though. Not dying isn't that impressive in Lembes. What's more impressive, <laughs> impressive is if you lose a dominating clash with a negative 45 sanity enemy. <laughs> that does sound super specific, Nazarene. Have you been through that situation before, maybe? <laughs> Click on your sinners to see the effect. <gasps> okay. Is that a permanent effect through the rest of the dungeon? So there's ice everywhere. This is like the opposite of like, like you dig down to the center of the earth and you find a hot core. It's all frozen. We're getting close to the golden bow. Shiro, I mind. Yamato. <laughs> oh, it's pain. Welcome back, Kai. Sorry about your internet. I'm, I'm glad it's working again. After winning a clash using a lust skill. Is this because we put on the shoes? I I kind of like that. <laughs> that doesn't seem like a bad gift. <gasps> oh, and the designs are so... So pretty. Ice castle where neighbors lie. Okay. <gasps> Was just for that battle. I see Kitsune. Just that fight. Okay. Okay. I, I'm glad we were able to end it quickly. And... <laughs> And not get too tripped up. I guess literally by those shoes. Oh, and these are more of these Pegatulum, Pegatulum creatures. Yeah. It reminds me a little bit of, of those bug people from Grecker. And in Grecker's core. MT3 is pain. <laughs> oh, it's easy. Just don't do floor five. <laughs> Yeah, it's fine. Just don't, just don't play the hard part. It's easy, except for that one part. <laughs> you, sh you should be fine as long as you skip that. Okay, chat. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Are you all insane? 
But that's funny, Elemental. Okay. Our coin flips. I, I'm savoring these good coin flips while we have them. <laughs> I, I'm, re I'm relishing in this feeling and making sure I, I know what it feels like. So we'll have happy thoughts <laughs> for later when, when we get to Mirror Dungeon. It's fine. <laughs> Floor 5 risky encounters are harder than the boss. Wow. <laughs> Sorry, some of you are so funny. MD3H is painful yet satisfying. I play five times a day. <laughs> Wait, really? That's so impressive. I am assuming. Like, wow. <laughs> Did you seriously expect Port Moon? Why do I keep saying Port? There's there's nothing that's even mentioned a Port yet. Is there? Project Moon. <laughs> Project Moon fans to be sane. But you raise a fair point, Nazreen. <laughs> I, I'm personally still a little bit delulu with what happened with Yuri last time, <laughs> but it's fine. <laughs> Hi, Ethan. Welcome in. <gasps> and hey, Waddle <laughs> Hey, again. There's worse things than four or five. Really? Also, the music's so much more somber now. It has me nervous. It doesn't usually get like this unless something sad's about to happen. Oh, okay, game. You you can't you can't scare me again. I I won't fall for your tragic backstories. Not this time. It's gonna get me, isn't it? <laughs> oh yeah, end of chapter two, Waddle. And then I think we'll still have time to go through a bit of chapter three too. I I'm so excited to see Sinclair's backstory. Oh. But I'm also like I'm treading it low-key. Oh, and these- are these more of those debtors? Shivering minor slave. Oh. Oh, and the background art's so- Wait, there are like buildings down here. I wasn't paying attention to that. The final boss of MD3H is very easy. Just have ego and charge and poise and pray to- <laughs> Oh, I see. But the boss doesn't use the ultimate attack on your units. Oh. So, kind of RNG, Nazreen. I see. Okay, one of us is staggered. But maybe we can deal with this enemy by the end of, <laughs> by the end of this round. The team I'm recommending works better. I mean, it kind of seems like it, Kai. I, I feel like we're getting pretty far with your team recommendation. Ruined village. Okay. Progress saved. Here it goes. Do we need to switch up our team? Do we need to switch up our team? So right now we have Hong Liu. We have three star Merceau, regular Sinclair and Quixote, and then Heathcliff. I've heard that Faust is really good. So I wouldn't mind switching in Faust. Maybe. I just didn't have a rough time. Because me and Encore just mowed it down. Well, lucky. <laughs> lucky, Ethan. Totally not jealous. End of chapter two here. Ong Lu and Heathcliff are good. Just use any. Okay. Okay. We can do this. We can do this. We can do this. Okay, Sinclair's been down a lot lately. So I think I'll switch in... Let's see here. Does this help us at all? Okay. I can only say, read the status effect for this final fight. Okay. I, just for you, Ethan, I'll read it. <laughs> I'll read it. A monumental castle of ice. And there stood a person. So Sonia's already here. I came here often. It helps me restore a lucid mind. So something happened a long time ago, and Rojia left, and Sonia stayed. We still don't know about the details. And there's that organization that, that Sonia leads or is a part of. Buried great power. This Faust isn't- oh, it's not all that good. 
Okay, Kai. Truly, Project Moon fans can't read. <laughs> no way to get closer. Maybe you should have stayed a country boy. Okay. I, I want to know more about these two. And like what brought them here? A centric hollow with frosty walls. So it's crone. Is this like representative of Sonya's like syndicate empire? Oh. Orochi is responsible. Because the, the bow is affecting or interacting with Rojia. Time for backstory? That's right. Grab your popcorn chat. <laughs> your, your drink of choice. And <laughs> buckle up for a very warm and happy, definitely, wink wink, backstory. <laughs> so people are frozen down here. It's not bad, but without the skill 3, it doesn't help much. Oh, so we need to up tie, up tie, up tie, up tie. 250,000. So there's Roja. Warm and happy. <laughs> That's right, Ethan. That's right. <laughs> Gra grab some hot cocoa and just relax. <laughs> A warm blanket, plushy, whatever you used to like, cozy up. More than 200,000. Wicked tax collector. Oh, I've heard about taxes in this game and how they're like, yeah. The poor only grow poorer. Hi, Ida. <laughs> I forgot the Krimbus event is tied to plot, so you can't do it yet. Saj, yeah, I have to be like in chapter 5, I think. Soon. One day. <laughs> Eventually. I shouldn't have had my popcorn earlier. Saj. <laughs> okay. They organized a group. Yiro Divye. And, and there's Sonia. So Sonia's like, like a Robin Hood character? Like bringing relief to these people or hope or something. <gasps> Thanks for the popcorn, Nokium. <laughs> Everyone be sure to share. There's <laughs> Make sure there's enough to go around. I think if you haven't gotten, if you, if you haven't uptied them, oh, it doesn't have enough of a difference to matter. I see, Wadali. How to change the streets. Oh, so it's like, like those people who talk about doing good things or like changing the world and like never do anything. An armchair revolutionary. Oh, and Sonia just looked at us. That was creepy. When Sonia just like looked over. Oh, Ivan. That's so dark. Okay, Sonia sounds like a politician. Like, so much of a politician. The city is like that Joker scene. You can mess with Batman. <laughs> but don't mess with the IRS. <laughs> That's kind of funny, Ethan. I feel like I have seen... It's like a meme, right? I've either seen it or heard someone... Or like, someone else posted it somewhere. I feel like I've seen it. Guns aren't used in the city because of taxes. You get your rewards by clicking on the event tab. Okay, Shiloh. After this, that's that's the first thing I'll do. I'll go click on the event tab. Funny things about taxes. Even the strongest crime syndicates pay a tax. Someone who wouldn't hesitate. Is this one of the tax collectors, maybe? So Rochia just went and like... Or was the moment Sonia was like waiting for was when Rochia would act. So Sonia drove Rochia to this. Through manipulation. Ana's the currency of the city, but some syndicates collect taxes. 
Oh, Oweth Ur? Eat hair, seventh person. Wow, Ida. <laughs> that sounds like a very specific system. Maybe not the most pleasant, but... Good, good to know. <laughs> the head want you to pay taxes, or... <laughs> Gotcha. So Sonia's like showing how this tax collector like couldn't be a better person or like be redeemed. And Rocha recognizing that or believing that just went and attacked. And this is the standoff. Oh, I see what you mean. Guns are used because competent fixers can do. Oh, <laughs> I see, Nazneen. <laughs> That's funny, Void. I'm crazy enough to take on Batman, but the IRS, no thank you. <laughs> oh. And of course the music would stop. Ugh, okay. So Rojo enjoyed this. Someone had to do it. I forgot to put art. <laughs> no worries. I, I think I understood what you mean. What you me meant, Nazreen. So, driven to this through desperation. And... Does that actually change anything for people, though? Her sibling's status as a member of the middle. It's a reference to the book. Oh, really, Meteor? Because he wants to show how amazing he is and how he doesn't care, even if Rochia killed a person. Oh. Except Queen of Censored. Ryuji. <laughs> More of these sensors. I detract. <laughs> welcome in. Welcome, welcome. I'm Fora, and we're in the middle of a, a sad, a sad bit of backstory. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> the backstory too tasted the joy of me. Soon made pillars on the roads. Are they like turning on each other? So everything fell to shambles after that collector in District 25 went away. Sonia's too much talk, Rochi's too much action. <laughs> that could make them the perfect, like, team though, you know? If only things were different in another world. It's all fine. Hundreds and thousands of documents. Okay. You're so right, though. Okay, w what will you do, Sonia? <laughs> the answer didn't lie in changing what was there. This is the world we can reach. Using the golden bow. Oh, and that's why Sonia needs Rocha for the bow. And now it's like rewriting those memories. Rocha's story, it's really not interesting. <laughs> Just good for city lore. I, I get that, Kai. I feel like this would make such a great scene animated. No one else would understand this feeling. But Sonia actually does care, and Roji on the book feels guilty about... Oh. Because Roji killed the tax collector connected to a finger, people in that area died. Because there were, like, rumblings from higher up, as, like, repercussion. Right? Still turning down your offer. How to put it? I feel like I ought to be in this cold a bit longer. Oh, they would have made a fine team if he... 
I, I guess that's fair, Ethan. Yeah. And also Sonia. But I just figured it out. But you don't have the mark. I'm seeing it on a few of your friends instead. Unless you're a color, then you just... Oh, nay nay, the entire metal. I, I see boy. Basically, this is a hard lesson to not mess with the middle. Oh, and, and we have a really hard time learning that. I, I kind of want to know more about the metal, though. Like, who they are, and what? Is there someone else above them that, that drove them to this? Is it like a, a witch came first, the chicken or the egg thing, where no one really is at fault, but everybody is? I don't know. It's not big words behind the closed doors that feed your neighbors. <laughs> Music. <laughs> Absolutely, Ethan. Hi, oh, Squid. I hope your ACNH island is <laughs> treating you a bit better lately. Don't trust Eichmann that easily in Project Moon. Or Ikemen? Okay. Okay, so the golden bow is past Sonia. We can do this. We can do this. One last, one last fight. And with the music now. <laughs> oh, wow. The animation. All right, so we need to read. We need to read. Conditions unmet. I'll, I'll read when new things happen. It seems like there's something else coming soon, right? The OST is so good. You're so right, Ryuji. <laughs> okay, okay. I think I'll win right for now. This feels safe. And I'll just keep an eye out on conditions. This definitely feels like calm before the storm. Like, there, there's gotta be more. And it's gonna be so hard. Okay. The elder brother of the metal's name is Viscount Petrol. Oh, really, Ida? The story of crime and punishment is all about the fact that Rochin thinks some people are above others. Oh, and can kill if needed. <gasps> really? That reminds me a lot of Rashomon, Nokia. It, it feels really similar. Like, like, a story about morals and using something to justify crime. Whether it's crime itself, or, or like a sense of superiority. The castle trembles intensely. A foreboding idea. Okay, we're running outside. We need to read the next wave. Okay, guy. <laughs> and Endo. I, I got it. Am I seeing this right? It's rising to its feet. We're fighting the castle. When the boss fight is the castle. Footfalls. <laughs> I mean, fair Ishmael. Oh, you don't like the finale? I, I see, Ida. Status effect comes later. You'll know when it arrives. Okay. Okay, Ethan. <laughs> so we just ran outside. <laughs> We're running away. The hierarchy of the middle is like, oh, little brother, little sister. Big brother, big sister. Oh, really? So there's like a, a family, like an ancestry thing? Wait for chapter five. <laughs> okay. Oh, that's so big. Okay, time to read. There's not a, okay. I was scared there'd be a time limit. Be like chased. Protection for every ally that died. And what does protection do? Take less damage from skills based on the effects count for one turn. So we have to like whittle them all down and then, okay. Is, is that the right strategy, chat? <laughs> whittle everybody down bit by bit and then try and take them out all at once. There is a time limit, 10 turns. It's actually very forgiving. Okay, unopposed favored. Okay. 
falls the faster as can. Yeah, I feel like there are lots of interpretations, Wadali, for Rashomon. That's just one I I heard about in a video the other day. Like, like the, I guess the, the through line that the main character used someone else's crime to justify a crime against that person. And like there was a sense of superiority or something. I don't know. <laughs> I'm not an expert. Nothing's more important than... <laughs> Then a family see you again starts playing. Okay, so now they all have protection. You have one bit of protection. Oh, you do. Oh, they all do. I see. So we should, they're all being, okay. The studio that makes Limba's company music has been making solely game OST since the 1990s. Wow. <laughs> It does sound like there's a lot of effort that went into this, for sure. Okay. And they all have two two turns worth of protection. Baba Yaga's the, the witch owning the house. <laughs> okay. Okay, I'm saving Ego. I'm saving Ego. I think we can use that in one of the, the next waves maybe finish off these enemies this turn. I'm hoping that works. <laughs> you missed the status effect. Oh, was it not the... Was it not protect? Inflict fragile next turn. Is it is it fragile or protection? <laughs> or, is it, or is it here? What, what do these do? Final power. Look under them. Oh, these. Oh, Baba Yaga. Clear the way or face certain death. Count four. Oh, and how do we... How do those happen? Before someone mentions the house. Listen, we don't have strong enough for tag, pro tag powers to fight a house. <laughs> I see. Okay, so, so to handle this, we just have to finish in 10 turns. Is that not in their passive, just look at their statuses under them. Okay. You only have four, four turns per round. Oh, so they count down. Okay. Got it. Not 10 turns total. Okay. I see you then. <laughs> Thanks. That, that makes a lot more sense. So that's the countdown, which does seem kind of forgiving, <laughs> honestly. Oh, look at Heath Heathcliff go. <laughs> okay, I am liking this team, Kai. <laughs> I, I think it's a good one. Don Quixote, hang in there. <laughs> okay. So three turns left. Got it. I'm gonna hold out with Ego a little bit longer. We'll, we'll see what happens. Hi, yo, Olin. <laughs> How the famous smooth voice for you I don't know about famous, <laughs> but I'm good. We're learning things, learning to pay attention to status effects. Okay, two turns. We've got this. Thanks for pointing that out, though, Ethan, and everyone else who did. <laughs> I I really appreciate it. It's still not that hard to do since making Eox is the typical limit I go for. Oh, I, I see Ida. <laughs> okay, and then four more turns. So now, is it safe to use Eco now? We have so much. St. Clair, or so. Okay, let's see how this works out for us. <laughs> They really should make it a passive, so more people actually notice it exists. Does one right use all of the... it does, okay. Yeah, I feel like for quality of life purposes that would be so helpful. Also these animations... I haven't seen a lot of these because I've been saving ego. Or like, like points for ego. I love the animation so much. Ego is padding button. 
Absolutely, Waterlier. Absolutely. Oh, here we go. A multitude tightens its hold. If we're just spam ego, no one will judge you. <laughs> I I hope not, Nazarene. But if you do, it's fine. I'm fine with banter and chat. <laughs> it's the last fight. Okay. When one of us was staggered anyway, he returns. We've so got this. We've so got this. Their protect is still... I don't like that effect they have. Ego has two roles, big clashing with big bodies, and panic button. I see you. Oh, Heathcliff. <laughs> it's kind of a lot to look at, but... You go, Heathcliff. <laughs> Have you pulled Ego in the gacha at all? I... Actually, I don't know. I don't think I have, Ida. I remember when I first played... Can we get rid of you in this turn? I feel like we can. Oh, Heathcliff. <laughs> Leave it to Heathcliff. Okay, we made it. Great. Yay. <laughs> I... I didn't know the difference between IDs and Ego in the beginning. I don't think I pulled another Ego. Okay, running. Why don't you throw one of us at him? Sinclair! It can also be used to clear. Oh, what who does that? I guess that's true. Sonia? We have to take all the help we can get. Now, what, what's Sonia doing with all of this? You couldn't hold yourself back from using your axe that day. I might have an inexplicable drive pushing me. Wait, is Sonia about to big sacrifice to like help us forward as we go change the world? What does a better world entail? I was reminded that I'd never question the motivations of Linda's company. <laughs> but Sonia just... <laughs> I see. Sonia got what was needed from that silence. It's fine. Don Telepol is something you spam every time you start a new fight. <laughs> I see, Olin. You only really need... Oh, get that in extended dungeons. I thought I saw something on his forehead for a sec. That boy who left quite the impression on you. Is this... Is this the Yaoi? <laughs> Sonia nudges his chin at something behind him. Okay, the golden bow. <gasps> Another animation. Golden bow received. Oh, but Sonya survives. So maybe we'll have a, a run-in later. Never trust a handsome man in Project Moon. <laughs> ah, it's... But what if evil white cute Shidoe? <laughs> I feel like in general, any character that's just like lovable or attractive in a game is, is like a prime target for that, that trope. <laughs> A friend. He goes like a super attack attack with passive. ID is your character base. Okay. Thanks, Waterly. I, I think I know now the difference, but back then when I started, <laughs> I was kind of overwhelmed. I think Ame was saying something about that earlier too. So Virgil's... We have the golden bow this time, Virgil. Don't be too mad at us. <laughs> Sonia. So Sonia might have had more ulterior motives. Why does everyone care more about Sonia than me? <laughs> Yuri was lovable, but she died. That's that's true, Shidoe. Think of the ego same as the ultimate skill of sinners, but it can become unstable and target teams. So like a really strong panic button that lowers sanity when you use it. Don's level 3 ego, fish shoot fish suit <laughs> is useful for certain builds. Oh. On the other hand, a wolf Don. <laughs> oh. Oh, 
The yaoi comes later. Okay, void. <laughs> oh, and we're back with the Karen and Mephistopheles. <laughs> Oh, they literally had to pick a restaurant. Okay, they feel like in strangely good spirits. I was expecting a really sad ending. Like, a lot of tragic things happened in the past, but... The Roche's eyes were shaking with distress. But maybe that's the point. Like, it's, it's happy on the surface, and everyone's fine outwardly, but inside. A lot more happened. Was this? We have another credit song. I don't know if I can listen to this because of copyright. What? Okay, I, I'll mute this. It's so good. I'll mute this and turn on. <laughs> Remember how broken one ego is that they upgraded its tier from H E to W A W. Okay, this music is so good. Owen Quixote, Marcel Ishmael Otis. Virgil seems strangely happy. Oh, you can, it's fine. Okay. The wet dog wall ID is real. <laughs> okay. I, I hope so, Ida. Bora, you're the first streamer I saw under this channel. Oh, get through that the first time. <laughs> Oh, this chapter, I see. Well, I had all of you, Olin. Well, they're like, are they playing poker? Or some sort of game? <laughs> That's fun. Oh yeah, I, I get it, Olin. But I think it's because I had all of you. <laughs> Thanks for pointing out that status effect, everybody. And Ethan. <laughs> oh, the credit song's all the same. But sang by each center, the canto's focused on. Oh, are they just the same songs? But just with a different singer. Wow. <laughs> Thanks, Elemental. It feels a little, like, anticlimactic. You know? Oh, Heathcliff. Gregor. Oh, Lou. He sung. This feels like such a... A, a, peace, a more peaceful moment than last time. Like, everyone... Dante was crying last time, and here we are. Aww. Same lyrics? Oh, but different instruments- instrumentation. Really? I kind of love that, not gonna lie. That those are the chips that Dante got. <laughs> Wasting their luck. Oh, that's funny, Ida. <laughs> so we're playing with those. With the end of chapter two, your base ID and ego are now tier three. Now recommended to only use tier 3 IDs because they unlock their skill 3. Don't forget to up tie. Okay. Do you want 3 IDs you want to use? Okay, no cube. Okay. <laughs> Roche's story. Oh, it isn't finished yet. So maybe we'll get another Roche chapter later? Because, yeah, Sonia's still out, out and doing things. And of course, Encore would be behind it. Is Encore connected to the metal, maybe? You burned all the cash. Wait. He song adds a little rap. <sighs> okay, I'm excited, Void. Nazarene. <laughs> First when, Yaruji. You're not like most idealists who are all theory and no action. But Sonia willingly chose. Is Sonia trying to manipulate Encore? It didn't win her over. I can't wait for Kanto 4 and that scene. One day, Meteor. Soon. <laughs> Yeah, I don't, the first canto really is a gut punch. I... It wrecked me. It felt like watching Steins Gate or ReZero or something. Ugh. Or even Attack on Titan. May want to pull if you have enough. Okay, Hitsune. I, I hope we have enough for a 10 pull. That could be fun. 
There's wings like in core. Think of them like government, then the middle are fingers. Oh, like big families, big crime families. It's Gregor's mom. That's right. This was like the scientist or whoever worked with Gregor. That's the impression I got. Yara <laughs> Uji. I, maybe a lot of it, it it gave like the project moon vibe i guess the like hopeless and false hope yeah and of course just another corpo in the city oh they sell canned experiences and so their district prohibits media consumption hi hi ej <laughs> welcome ed we're at the end of chapter two we made it through on the first try Thanks to some brilliant advice from chat. <laughs> and we're about to start chapter three. Maybe get a, a couple of pulls in. We'll go collect some event rewards. I mean, that's another way to put it, Kai. <laughs> Thanks for the hydrate, Raven. I'll, I'll take a quick sip. Everyone, please be sure to drink something. <laughs> You're so real for that, EJ. <laughs> Basic identity uptide. Okay. Ego threat spun. Okay. And how do you uptie? I'm curious. Okay. And can we... We can collect these. Nice. Okay. Various rewards. We love to see it. We love to see it. <laughs> Okay. And, okay. Let's go collect. Oh, this is Canto 3. Let's go collect these other boards. Which, maybe, we're so close to a tenfold. We're so close. That's crazy. And, like, one more stage. We can do a pull. Let me collect some of these. I keep forgetting to do dailies here specifically in Limbus. It's fine. It's fine. Okay. More of these. And how do you uptie? There's a story that you can get when uptying an ID on the center page. Tap and hold one center. Okay. Who do we uptie? It was, it was best to uptie. We could go to Heathcliff's three star. The event is so... Click on the ID you want, and you'll see the, the detailed UI. Okay. Oh, level up and up time. Do your dailies, Dante. <laughs> I I know, right, Uji? <laughs> I will, I will, I swear. Up tie your three stars. Okay. So we can up tie. Okay. Identity up tied. And we still need more threads. And we can get threads from dailies. I see. I see. Oh, the sun shower heath. Okay, as soon as I get more thread, I will uptie sun shower heath. Is it good to level two? Uptie the one you like. What about leveling? Is it worthwhile to do this or not really? You can go exchange them. Dante, do your dailies. Dante. <laughs> That's funny. You can go exchange them. Threads from dailies, battle pass, and the event ticket. Oh, okay. I think I'll come back to this once I have more threads. <laughs> okay. And then we're so close to another 10 pull. I'm thinking after this maybe first stage, we'll so have enough for a 10 pull. Just use units you like and level them up. Waifu over Meta. <laughs> Meta? Meta? Why did I say Meta? <laughs> Okay, Shidoe. I, I think that's what I'll do. Give the homeless boy some love. Eventually, Nasreen. <laughs> Eventually. Karen humming a song. Most beautiful of performances. I mean... Yeah. Yeah. Our core Heathcliff is really good. Okay. Need to build around one day. One day. <laughs> I have so much, I have so many dailies ahead of me. It's fine. 
Level them up typically. Oh, it's you around 30 for Canto 3. Okay, Come after this chapter, I'll go do some leveling. Well, I'll go raise their levels. <laughs> or not chapter, after this stage. Uptie the sink. Oh, Audis. Not sure how good that Heath is. Got overshadowed by our Heath. As far as I remember, you'd often hum that song when you felt down. Oh, Karen. And also Virgil. Virgil secretly cares. Virgil's eyes seem to well with a subdued shade of dark. Only for a brief moment. It's because this chapter is hard for beginners. Oh, and Heathcliff might not help as much this chapter. And we do have a Krembus event, Ida. <laughs> that is true. Just like the history of my own life that I've forgotten. Yeah, I wonder when will Virgil, Virgil and Karen get chapters? I, I want to see their backstories. And cry. Like you're Sinclair for this chapter. Okay, Ryuji. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Not befriend this old guide. Our bus passengers had lifted spirits for a while now. Okay. I have a golden bow. I hope we don't get like this false sense of confidence and then get like hit really hard this chapter. We love the Gregor and Ryocha interactions. Keikor's nest, okay. We smile and vroom vroom. That's right, Ryuji. No thoughts, just vroom vroom. <laughs> sad things don't make us sad. We, we just vroom vroom. And, and no sad anymore. Aw, <laughs> Quixote. A limited edition figure set. There's no worth all the uptime with the Heath just for battle. Unless you want to know about the ID story. <gasps> That's right, we get ID stories from uptying. I have so much to do. I have so much to do. <laughs> Virgil already got a whole... You're so right, Blow. I have to go read that, that prequel. The, the manga, the comic, not manga, it's manhwa, right? We haven't seen too much of Ryoshu. I, I really want to know more about this character. Oh, Sinclair. However. Oh. Wait, Sinclair. Virgil's Oh in the Leviathan comic. Oh, really? The support passive isn't too great? Ever since Virgilius mentioned Keikor. Oh. Because you didn't order me to do so. Marceau! Marceau! Be a team player. Please. I mean, I... Oh, Sinclair. Any favorite sinner? Oh, interesting, EJ. Okay, what about everyone else in chat? Do you have a favorite center so far? I I kind of like more so for being so reliable. But I mean I have such a soft spot for like Quixote and Sinclair. I know Ishmael's really popular. You just referred to the team as we. Probably the weirdest thing in our <gasps> The characters say Christmas is three months away. <laughs> that is funny. What timing, Ida? Really, what timing? <laughs> I can't tell you the reasons for recruiting the sinners in detail. Our destinations and the backgrounds of each center are related. There's gotta be a reason for that. It's like they were all selected because they resonate with golden bows. Why do they resonate with golden bows in the first place? America, explain. <laughs> Merceau is literally me. <laughs> wait. Hi, Void. I mean, Merceau. Can't wait for the Ryoshi Kanto. I know, right? I, I feel like Ryoshi is such a confusing and complicated character. I want to know more. I want to know so much more. Just as Heathcliff approached Faust with his bat. Oh, Sinclair. The bus quieted down after that. I love Isang, Owen Faust, Hi Hydrangea! 
welcome, and you're so real for that. I also want to know more about Yisang. Yisang? And Faust is- Faust is good. Literal genius? Absolutely. Okay. And now, we go to make some balls. Okay. Which banner? We have 21 here on, on like, the sink. But, but what about- what about the event characters? <laughs> My favorite's oh, Quixote because gremlin energy. Nice. Ishmael, Ryoshi on my top. Owen's on for the gremlins. Very nice. So, okay. And then we have target extraction. Ryoshi, red eyes. Lots of Ryoshi. The sink. Okay. But I figured because we already have like 20. <laughs> 20 pulls here. Okay. We get at least a two star. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. Okay. Well, let's, let's build up to this. And this gives us... What does this give us? The red? Are those the things we can use for experience? Okay. We're so... It's fine. Nice Faust. <laughs> Early game focus on ID. Late game for ego. Oh. Okay, Shidoi. All right. What do we have? <laughs> okay, okay. An outus. Couple of outus. A lot of outus. Only an event ego. Oh. Assistant manager Ishmael. <laughs> I'll take that. I'll take that. That's new. And who is this? And who is this? Is this Quixote? It is Quixote. <gasps> Very nice. <laughs> I'll take it. I'll take it. <laughs> I can feel it. Oh, really? Very nice. Sink Dawn. <laughs> we do love Sink Dawn. Okay. Okay, that's great. That's great. <laughs> we love Sink Dawn. I'll just switch over. Oh, wait. I kind of want to go up tire. We only need seven more. Oh, and I said I'd go level. So we need roughly level 30. Okay. Okay. Do I focus everything here? Do I? I think we'll try it. It's fine. It's fine. I, I'll come back. Okay, off stream, I'll do so many dailies. You won't even, you won't even recognize everything that changes between now and next time. I'll have so many dailies done. I'll have so many up ties. <laughs> It'll be great. Different sync, but still nice. <laughs> Wrong blondie, but still good. I know, I'll, I'll take it. A sync dawn is good. A sync dawn is good. Okay, Canto 3. All right then. <laughs> Speed, really umid. Okay, and let's. Who do we switch out? Gregor isn't that great. Can you try a ten pull on Otis Smith? <laughs> Maybe next time, Ida. I think if we get enough lunacy, absolutely, absolutely. LCCB Ishmael is better. Oh. I'll I'll switch next, next stage, Shiroe. The back streets of District 11. I missed pointing it out since everyone got a bit excited. I know what I said. Okay, Kekor. Every character that you don't use, but as base ID for support. Oh, support passives. I see Kai. I'll, I'll do that also. <laughs> Need bullet management. <laughs> That's funny, Shido, eh? Why are you looking at me? See, I. And keep on. D E R. What does that mean? Cider? Is that a joke, Ryoshi? <laughs> I'm glad you thought it was funny. The centers have learned to stop questioning the abbreviations. <laughs> I wonder if I could come up with like a weird abbreviation. Like, 
Like, when, with, no. That's hard. <laughs> Goal for next time. Oh, um, the IDs in general are really good for LCCB. I used Ryoshu because the skill is called Oof. <laughs> That's really funny, Ida. Oh, Ryuji. O O F. A shareholder of H Core. Hong Lu. I think Hong Lu either has like a picturesque childhood or Hong Lu had a horrible childhood but just looks back on it fondly for some reason. You know how, like, sometimes traumatized people, like, I don't know, see things as better than they are to, like, cope somehow? I feel like Hong Lu might have had that happen. But just a theory. A game theory. <laughs> oh, LC players saving for their game characters. Meanwhile, I'm saving for Jessica. <laughs> Same Raven. Tomorrow, I have, I have, like, 52 polls ready for Jessica, and... I think I have five, like a pity of five, already carrying over from last time, the last banner. So, we'll cross our fingers. I also really want Horopedia from Reverse 1999. Yeah. One day. Okay, difficulty spike. Here we come. Here we come. Anything crazy here? Sanity. Oh, is this new? So their sanity increases and decreases. Oh. Increase by five after defeating enemies or winning clashes. At least I got to the very lucky. <laughs> so lucky, Raven. Okay. I love seeing more than one sync character <laughs> going at it together. Classic rat. Hong Lu's an incredibly sheltered kid. Oh, the equivalent of a black card. I see. Yeah, I guess that could make sense too. And, okay. I'm not noticing too big of a difficulty spike. Maybe it comes a little later. I'm saving to see what we get in the next. Oh, wall purge is not. Exciting, Kitsune. <laughs> That's always fun, I think. Instead of saving for a particular character, saving for just whoever comes next. <laughs> okay. And... Okay. Okay. Maybe Little Sis Don too. Okay. Recommendation is Base Heathcliff, Base Song Lu, Sing Don, Friend ID, maybe and Claire, and maybe R... Marceau, or any other high-level IDs you have. I see, Kai. I see. Okay. I... After this stage, I'll go revisit the team one more time. <laughs> oh, don't worry. You won't have problems until chapter 3, 4. <laughs> ah, the suspense is killing me, Olene. <laughs> For real. Okay. Parking. Time to get inspected. out. <laughs> He's saving the currency for the gacha. By grinding. <laughs> oh, I, I see, Raven. Did you just say not out as <laughs> Okay. Not how it works in this particular place. We welcome all visitors to K-Cores and Pass. Please form an orderly line. <laughs> oh, it's totally possible to beat Chapter 3 with level 12 IDs. You just gotta play smart. <laughs> okay, Ida. Change other characters to base ID because of support passives. Oh, and there are lots of... This looks like a nice place. Not gonna lie. What made you follow us outside the bus this time? Because this is a nest, Dante. Okay. So it's a lot more difficult here. Sounds like you're not reliable enough to be sent without supervision. It's totally possible. It would be that way if you don't know how to read, which 90% of Project Moon fans don't. I, I can read. I, I can totally read. I... 
Okay. Let's see if we can do this. Let's go back to centers and, and switch out the team. So we want regular Heathcliff and and Project Moon doesn't have difficulty spikes. Silly. It's a difficulty wall. <laughs> I see. I see. Okay. Charge meta, poise company, flaming hot Cheetos, or delusional sinking fan. <laughs> Nazarene, if you want to go into more detail, feel free. Feel free. Or like even to say something on like the Discord channel. <laughs> I'd I'd love any advice. Okay, base Heathcliff. Base Hong Liu. And synced on friend ID like a, a Sinclair. And then maybe Merceau. Or any other high level ID. Okay. Okay. We can do this. We can so do this. <laughs> Here it comes. Code purple. I'll switch out all of the team members. The line's moving quickly. Immigration question. I was just about to get to that. My internet's really bad lately. No worries, Raven. No worries. Oh, with wall purchase max, we can't farm the characters till the next one. It's the best time for late stagers to pull. I see EJ. I see you. Good luck with all of your pulls, everybody. <laughs> On behalf of the Limbus Company, please refer to my work visa. <laughs> that exact phrase. Do they, do they all care a lot about us saying exact words? It's a really strict place here. Just prove you aren't here to cause trouble. You forgot to change. Oh, other characters. Can you not use? Oh, the ones I don't use. You're right, Kai. For support bonuses. I'll do that next. <laughs> I'll do that next. So anyone we don't use. Back to just standard. Virgil is staring off in space. Next up. Ask yourself if, it, if your question is meaningful. Okay. I think the goal between sessions should be to farm threads to uptie your favorite IDs to three. Okay, Ida. Will do. Threads through dailies uptie to three. And maybe some levels along the way, if we can manage that. Okay, we can carry weapons. I hope Solemn Lament. Oh, for your sake, I hope so too, Nazreen. <laughs> Our manager's head counts as a prosthetic rather than a weapon. Oh, Ishmael must be so worried. Or like nervous. Taking the role of the model student. Something's changed since the casino. Oh, so like acting as a leader. VTube Studio just froze. <laughs> it should be back in just a sec. Okay, we're back. <laughs> Do your weekly Zvora. Zvora. Nazarene, you're like in my walls. <laughs> you're the ghost in my walls telling me to do my weeklies. I will. I will. I... It's fine. It's fine. We also have Mirror Dungeon 2 now. Or is that after chapter 3? <gasps> no worries, Raven. Good luck with the internet. Please take care of yourself. Bye. <laughs> Gave the woman with an adamantly raised hand the chance to speak. Oh no, Virgil's eyes. Put my in glare to upside four in case. <laughs> Thanks, Ayuji. The glass barrier. The glass wall that stood in the middle of the building. Countless people waiting in line. They've been there for quite some time. Oh. QO will be on Dawn. I call that. Really? Okay. No wasting the luck on a single pull. <laughs> I get that, Ida. Dante really out there and used pity on the general pull. <laughs> that, that's tough. That's really tough, Ida. 
Oh, 35 but it <laughs> hydrate and stretch thanks raven i okay i'll keep an eye on the clock 35 minutes is okay perfect we'll do raven <laughs> we'll do thanks again and please get some rest and take care of yourself okay bye <laughs> okay the answer didn't satisfy don quixote I want Otis. We haven't heard from Otis in a while. <laughs> hey, Bull, Flora, Flora. I hope both the day and the game are treating you well. <laughs> Same to you, Bull. I hope you're having a, a great day. Wherever you are, whatever you're doing. <laughs> yeah, we made it through chapter two. That apparently is kind of hard to get through the end of. And we're starting the difficulty wall. It's fine. <laughs> State your affiliation. These guards, they make me think of Arknights just a little bit. Does anyone else get that impression? Making you think of like the Arknights defenders. All checked out. Is Sinclair going to like have a breakdown? Pull in line. This chapter is super long. The dungeon is about as long as the rest of the chapter. I see, Ida. Well, we might not get through the whole dungeon today or the whole chapter. I'll do my best to get through a lot. Oh no, I could see what was happening. Someone with cuffed hands was being dragged away by security. And a small child was crying. Someone broke a taboo. <laughs> Again with like money, generic Arknights units. <laughs> yeah, the bear. Exactly, Ryuji. I thought you didn't care. Distracted by Heathcliff, our usual suspect sprang forth. Oh no, Kyoto, Don, Don, the heavy breathing. <laughs> well, an emotion is expressed on the checkpoint's face. Oh, but same, same Kyote. Gremlin energy. <laughs> For real, Don is doing a justice. We love doing a justice. That's right. Don is doing her daily and weekly justice. Kyote was getting more upset. I saw the desperate child now the scream. That was kind of loud. Hi, black noob. <laughs> welcome, welcome. If you're unwilling to take action. <laughs> she looks so proud of herself. <laughs> Code purple. Tabu K185. The wrong bookite. Oh wow, and everyone's running. The Dawn Gremlin smile. Dawn, now! <laughs> Lots of sirens. I doubt that would have made much of a difference. <laughs> the guard is so... Honestly, the guard looks like... I feel like they've been through so much today. Rambo Luko. Platelets and white blood cells. Again, I feel like this game is all happening inside a person or something. Like it's a cells at work scenario <laughs> or, or something like that. Maybe it's even symbolic. I like to think that the tipu was just very specifically Don Quixote did a thing. <laughs> I mean, fair, fair Ira. You know, you know when you just do a thing and people don't like it, <sighs> it's tough. Okay, we'll switch out everyone else to their main, their, their default IDs, so we get those bonuses. Okay, I'm learning. I'm, I swear I'm learning. <laughs> okay, I think this is right. This is just Roland's dream in the library. <laughs> I mean, it, it might be. It might be Nazdeen. Don Quixote is wanted in 22 wings. <laughs> I, I wouldn't be surprised, Blue. Looks pretty serious. 
Okay, a tabu and coat purple. Can't we just talk this through? I'm sorry, Dante. I, I think we're, we might be past that. I must have said something incredibly frustrating. No matter the wing, an infringement of taboo means... Oh, done. Lethal measures can be taken. I forgot to change the team. Wait, I thought I did, Kai. Did I not confirm? Was there a confirm button? But the payday to OST, Dante. You never cease to surprise me. Oh, Virgil. Virgil and this guard are just so done right now. I'm keeping out. Okay, Virgil. I thought you accompanied us to handle situations that our manager can't alone. Well, that's kind of harsh. The funny thing about Dawn's VA is that while most of her lines are very enthusiastic, when she has to scream, she actually reels back. <gasps> she drew a little comic. Wow. I'll have to go find that, Ida. The, the context, like the contrast between really happy-go-lucky all the time and like actual screams. That sounds very specific. Or like, what's the word? Cathartic. Like it would make you really feel something. Okay. Defeating enemies. Heals every turn. Okay. Okay, core boys. Oh, you're right, Kai. I did. Who did you recommend me switching to? For this fight? Again. <laughs> the K Core boys. Yeah, Yuri, for real. This probably won't end super well. It's fine. Yeah, exactly, Ryuji. It doesn't seem like their police system is super great. Oh, yeah, this is not ending very well. Wait. <laughs> Wait. Okay. So we've got to focus on one of them. Can you Sinclair? Oh, that's right. I was going to Encore style. We're actually reading what <laughs> police brutality does. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So. Okay. Or is this just meant to take a, a long time? When, right? Yeah, I might just be under leveled for this, honestly. We might need to go do some excavation or something. If you idle on the main screen enough with base dawn, she screams at the top of her lungs. Manager Squire, hast thou fallen asleep? Okay, I'll have to. Okay, I don't know if we'll be able to win this. Yeah, this this doesn't look so great for us. Also, I'm just noticing their health bars are different. Like, they, they look like ours. The little circles below their feet. But, okay. This might be a, a, a horrible loss. Yeah. When raid only works when you're stronger. They're just super tanky and heal every turn. What about damage? Could damage be better? We have to deal more than 15 damage each turn. I mean, that seems not bad. Those enemies have a high clash value because you're a little underleveled and they have regen. They're weak to blunt, but you're not using a lot of blunt units right now. I see Nokia. So there was maybe a chance. Maybe. Marceau, please. Please hold on. <laughs> Yeah, I might have to do some grinding to get up up to this level. Not to use damage. I want you to think. Okay, Kai. Okay. So let's see. Let's see what we do have. Potency. Oh, haste next turn. And what does haste do? Speed increases by the effects count. Okay potency-based chance to deal critical damage. So poise is really good on heads. We have zero sanity here. 
More poise. Oh, we're struggling on all of these. You can try bringing a blunt team. Ace Heath, Marceau, and Ishi should work. Okay. Okay. I think I'll, I'll take a step back. Let's let's try this again. <laughs> With a, a more well thought out team. Okay, blunt damage. They're a pain because they healed a full. Okay. And because you're losing clashes to the enemy, they don't have a lot of sanity and roll heads more often. So they're harder to clash. Yeah. Okay. Let's go change our sinners. Okay. They now have a lot of sanity. Yeah, yeah. Oh, don't bring Sinclair. Okay. And we can change our team from here. Okay, perfect. So we have normal, normal IDs. You got synced on too. Yeah, yeah, you do. <laughs> Absolutely, we did. Very exciting. Okay, so I'm thinking about this critically. We can do this. <laughs> we can do this. So if I were smart, what would I what would I do? We could maybe switch out us for a support in core Sinclair. Right? Or any of these Encore? The one who shall grip. And Claire's oh, ID. Not a not Sinclair. <laughs> Bring Sinclair, but Encore. The one who shall grip. Oh, the one who shall grip is Encore. I see. Perfect. <laughs> okay. And then we'll switch you to standard. Okay. Is this right? Is this right? You can also hit the Luxcavation Mines and just auto win for some tickets. That might be a good idea. Uh, and we have Mirror Dungeon. Okay. Okay. Skip battle. Auto win. Okay. I'll do a couple of these. And Claire, or Grip Claire, aka one who shall grip. <laughs> Okay. Perfect. I'll just grind some of these. Manager level increased. Oh, we have so many. I think I'll make a couple of modules. You know, just because. Just because. <laughs> okay. We'll skip a bit more. We'll just grind. I love when grinding can be done so quickly. So, so painlessly. <laughs> The number of select changed. Oh, what I what ID is gonna get more skill slot first? Oh, okay, Kai. You should do the Luxcavation too. It gives more EXP. Okay. Then let's let's go through it, and then unlock the the auto battle. And we can switch and support. Okay, Encore Sinclair. Perfect. <laughs> Perfect. Mirror Dungeon is fun, but it takes like 30 minutes if you know what you're doing. Oh, it's the it's the game's roguelike mode. I, I see. I see. So sort of like Annihilation, but but roguelite? Annihilation from Arknights. Okay. Because <laughs> because we're we're just grinding experience. I think I'll just win raid. Are we doing okay? I feel like we're doing okay. You forgot to change the team again? Oh, who do you want me to change it to again, Kai? I, I think it might be misunderstanding. So, all of those, like the, the high level ideas, more like is. <laughs> it is the game's roguelike mode. That's funny. Oh, it is like Annihilation. Oh. I see. I see. <laughs> I haven't played Ark Knights in years, so sure. <laughs> Trade Ishmael with Heathcliff. Okay. Perfect, Kai. I will do that. So instead of Ishi, Heathcliff. And Cora Sinclair is the first ID that used Tail Roll. Be aware, you can go Corrosion if you don't pay attention. 
Okay. So we have to be super careful with with Encor Sinclair. But otherwise, we can be super strong. Okay. Okay. I'll keep that in mind, you mean. Is O as an in integrated strategy in Arknights. Oh. Ishmael with base ID Heathcliff, and not Sun Shower Heathcliff. Thanks, Nokium. <laughs> thanks, thanks for the, the specifics. I I figured, but yeah, okay. Switching out for base Heathcliff, and then setting Ishmael as like base Ishmael, and and not using her. You don't want the, oh. <laughs> Skill three is thirty power coin roll. Wow. Oh yeah, Heathcliff was really strong last time. With that like lethal effect. Okay, something absolutely happened to the Sinclair. I want to know what happened. Okay. Like, like why is my boy all, all bloodied up? Oh. Okay. And now we can skip battle. I'll just use the rest of my... My modules and and then we'll, we'll go level up a bit manager level increased wait that's so nice that's so nice <laughs> and we can do this a few more times encore sinclair is a spoiler <laughs> i can see her i can see her no, not the smiley face that i you. <laughs> that's so intimidating okay and one more. Okay, perfect. And let's go switch out. Okay, we want regular Ishmael and a regular Heathcliff in the team. I think I'll go make... We could make more modules. I could absolutely do this. Okay, I'll leave that there. And if we need to go grind more, we can. So who do we... If you don't say anything, it's not a spoiler. <laughs> I see, I see, but I'll get my answers. Okay, Ida, we smile, just smile. <laughs> I'll try, Ryuji. Okay, so we could, who else have we seen? So you're at uptie two. We should probably uptie Dawn. Oh, we can't uptie, that's for leveling. So let's level Dawn and maybe some others. Okay. Level 19. Going to 30. And, okay. One's at level 30. <laughs> Don't spoil all modules. <laughs> oh, okay, Kai. Okay. So that feels better. No uptie yet. And then... Maybe Merceau. The game already hard spoiled Sinclair at launch with the mariachi outfit. Oh, I see, Ida. I see. Is it worth it to level Heathcliff? Or, or do we go raise Merceau? Better to share tickets with everyone. Okay. Oh, instead of just doing, I see. So like, like leveling out so they're all balanced instead of like leveling everyone up a little bit instead of just doing a, a focusing on a couple. I see Kai. Okay. Saying I see Kai is kind of like the word isekai. <laughs> but you don't need level 30. All the 20 instead of 30. Okay. I think we have a, enough modules to get a few more. So, okay. I I think I'll grind with the rest of what we have for enough tickets, and then we'll just raise to 20. I think that feels good. That feels fine, Jameer. Level 30 is overkill for this Kanto. 20 provides a fair challenge. Okay, Ida. I, I'll keep that in mind. <laughs> we don't want it to be too easy. So, maybe it's a good chance to learn more about how the game works, too. I, I just... Facing the, the gritty, the gritty tough parts. Okay. So everyone will use, will raise to 20. So Heathcliff specifically. Okay. 
Let's let's go. Let's do this. Level 20 it is. <laughs> Perfect. Oh, 30 is just for the dungeon. I see, Kair. I see. Nintendo. Thanks. <laughs> 20. 30. We were using Honglu. So let's level here. And I I feel like this will give us maybe a better shot at all of this. <laughs> I hope so. This chapter is when you start learning how to spam ego. I see. 28's fine too. Okay, Kai. And who else were we using? Someone else is Sinclair. One, two, three, four. So I guess we could dump the rest. We could finish Merceau. Or bring Merceau up a little more. And then level like Honglu and Heathcliff just a bit. Chapter 5 is like 35. You can exchange some ego shards to get the thread needed. <sighs> okay. And we can do that here. I see. I see. Is there... We have a lot of outer shards. Do you have any recommendations? Okay. So we need 20. Okay. I... I think I'll go back and uptie someone and see how much we need in total. Okay. We're learning. We're learning. I know it's the boring, the boring part of the game, but thanks for helping me out. And <laughs> oh, we need eighty for three, eighty for three, and twenty for two. So we need eighty for Marceau, and one hundred for. Dawn. Oh, it's fine. Until you run into him. <laughs> I see. I see. I, I'll nervously look forward to whoever he is. <laughs> so you need 160 total. Exactly, Yuri. For up to three. Okay. So let's go exchange. Where do we do that again? It's Dispense. Okay, it's here. Perfect. Okay. 80. I don't want to max out all of them. Maybe I could take, like, something like this. We might have to. It's fine. I'll grind these later, okay? I'll grind these later. It's actually 100. 20, 80, 50, and 150 threads are the requirements of... Oh, zero, 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 up ties. Got it. Okay. I... So to get to up tire three, we need 160. Okay. And we'll just move down a little bit. Perfect. We might have the red boxes. Okay. Where's the inventory? Just, yeah, four is a little crazy. <laughs> just 160 is enough. Okay. Sinners. You may have boxes in your inventory. How do I... <laughs> I feel dumb for asking. How do I check my inventory? Uptie. Okay, perfect. Uptie the rear. From the window screen. Go to the window. Okay, perfect. Oh, and then we have like story bits, don't we? The arena was large. They do have stories, you're right. This feels very Gregor to me. So lots of fighting. The hatchery. So it's like training if they want to survive as Arcor combatants. I'm assuming they're fighting Abnos? You should read them. Okay, you do. Efficient acquisition of combat experience and select the most exceptional specimen. So they're like clones or something. I am whichever copy manages to survive. I was hatched. A special procedure so that my bioelectric signals could operate a massive exoskeletal suit. So that's that armor that this version of, of Heath, not Heathcliff, of Merceau wears. Rhino Gregor. One day, Nazarene. <laughs> One day. 
funny you say this feels very Gregor. It was actually supposed to be for Gregor? Really void. The colossal suit continued to drain my life energy. So it, it, it's fueled by Merceau. Sort of like the, I don't remember the word, but like the, the suffering that's like used to power the bus. All our personal funds filled ourselves with caffeine and sugar. Were I not to meet our expected combat performance goals, I would be dragged back and I'd fight an endless battle against me and more of myself. This is so sad. The ID kind of spoils it anyway. Oh, all Arcor operatives are clone survivors of a battle royale. I see, Ira. I, I don't know if it'd be a spoiler if it's accessible in the game like this, but I can see how it might spoil parts of the library or another game. I wonder it changes how it looks. Wow. <laughs> That's so sad. Welcome back, ghost. We are about to see another sad story. It's fine. Or maybe this one won't be sad. Maybe this one won't be quite as sad. Well done. <laughs> we love Sync Dawn. Okay. I was made to go places. <laughs> I hope you had a nice, a nice bit of travel, ghost. Please come thee hither. The child strode through the alley. Following closely behind her was a woman with a small notepad in her hands. Learning about the kinds of jobs that the Sink Association would take. Thou art learning at this very moment. <laughs> the woman fidgeted with her notepad and grew increasingly and visibly disappointed. Excited at the prospect of learning more of the Sync Association's work environment, which has been obscure until now. And here she was, tagging along, tag tagging along to this director's leisurely afternoon stroll about the alleyways. I ask thee, what dost thou think the primary function of the Sync Association? <laughs> it's time to throw gloves. <laughs> Absolutely, Kai. A dueling association. Oh, so like, they're they're hired. Sort of like fixers? You're not about to tell me that you seek out evildoers to duel them in the name of justice, are you? <laughs> this feels very... I'm getting Ace Attorney vibes. Like, like a witness or something. <laughs> From Dawn. She coughed as though the interviewer had touched upon a sensitive subject. Patently not. Of course, I must say, my motivation was something of a more practical nature. <laughs> As they walked out of the alleyway, two people, surrounded by a large crowd, appearing ready to throw down, came into view. So there's another duel. It's time to throw gloves. All the associations match the language of the sinner's book. Oh, so this is from Don Quixote specifically, and the Sync Association is inspired by that book. Maybe. <laughs> That's so interesting. Wow. Knowing Dawn's personality, she fits very well in the Sync Association. Yeah, proxy dueling. That's what it sounds like, Ida. <laughs> oh, no, Sync is French. Really, Nokio. Hearing what the two had to say, the child took off one of her gloves. Then my client has been decided. <laughs> Okay, I cannot forgive thee, knave. <laughs> well, Don's Spanish and Sink is French. Oh, I see void. So there's like, there are some differences. The child drew her sword from the waist and readied herself. The duel ended swiftly. Such haste. <laughs> Every association name is a number. Sink is five in French. Oh, and is... Sync section five. Is is Quixote center number five? Out of curiosity. Heroes fighting in the name of justice. <laughs> if performed in the form of business, they consider it a real result worth counting. And that is my compromise. <laughs> that that felt a lot less sad than <laughs> Rousseau's R core ID. 
Oh, she's center three. Well, there went my theory void. <laughs> center number three. I see. I see. Okay. Perfect. Oh, and it's been about 35 minutes since Raven redeemed a, a hydrate and stretch. So I'll take a sip and, and do a big stretch. <laughs> And a big stretch. Very nice. <laughs> oh, the video made me laugh with this line when they went over the gotcha part of Limbus. I'm French now, Don Quixote. <laughs> that is really funny, Nazdeen. So, is this a good enough team? Level 30, up to 3. And do we have any more we can spend here? I... We have 10 more. Okay. Okay, perfect. And then... Okay. Let's hope this is good enough. <laughs> or so is five. Oh, so that's why it's French. So the numbers are connected to the centers, but there are also themes that connect to different books that they're all inspired by. Okay. And support. Perfect. Everyone else is their default self. Perfect. Perfect. I I feel better about this. I do. Slaps the French out of Don. <laughs> okay. Okay, I'll just click through this dialogue pretty fast, since we've already seen it. And then, we'll be right back into the fray. <laughs> Association numbers are as same language as the sinner's origin. Hana for Isang, Sui for Faust, Shi for Ryoshu, O and Liu for Hong Liu. Very interesting. I am always learning something new. Okay, L let's try win rate and see if that gets us through this time. Oh wait, not win right, we need damage, right? We do seem to be winning more coin flips though. Which isn't bad. That one Heathcliff is just... Okay. But they... Wait. Okay. I like this. I like this more. <laughs> so two have been staggered and we have some other... Okay. Perfect. Liu has Gregor, Merceau, Honglu, and Ishmael. I think it's just convenient naming with that, since some of these associations were named in Ruina, so it makes sense to pair them. Oh, so like, existing world building then, Ida. I see, I see. That must be so hard and sad, like, I'm still not over Merceau's story, like this idea. That must be so, like, torturous. Like, I don't know. Imagine I would be scared seeing, like, a clone of myself. I know some people are, some people are, like, into that, but I don't know. If I, if I had a copy of me, another Fora, I feel like I'd be scared. <laughs> Much less lots and lots of them. DSC for Dante because he took over the 10th spot from Sinclair. Oh, really? Wait, is Dante a sinner? Don't hit damage now, you're stronger. Okay, Kai. Okay. Will do. Understood. Now that you've leveled your units, you can trust in the win right button. I see, Nokia. I see. But you're right. There's definitely... I don't know if it's like a... A difficulty wall. It's more like a, a leveling wall, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. And because ID is basically the power drawing from what if, canon 00, zero and 000, zero zero IDs, oh, two and three star IDs, are decided how well they fit with their roles and characters. I see. So it's like matching up with what ifs. Nothing more than a guide. We made it through, though. That's what matters. Dante's technically the 10th center. 
Marceau. Laura, if you think Marceau was bad, wait for her and Claire. Oh, it's fine. It's fine. To be fair, some of the story's been nerfed with mirror dungeons. Oh, some of the story's been nerfed. Say, nerfed. Same with mirror dungeons. I'm the chosen one. That's such a heartbreaking bit of voice acting. Oh, it's okay. It's fine. Oh, and Ida got nerfed hard. That was the first big one. Oh yeah, the the fight at the top of the tower. I, I know a lot of a lot of you mentioned that earlier. But Okay. I I'm hoping we can handle this with a win rate for now. These are some really, really tough enemies. Which I guess it makes sense. We're at K Gore. It's meant to be harder, but but yeah. Okay. It's still difficult if you don't overdo it. With only level 20 units, you better choose them wisely. Resistant to blunt and hit blunt. But you have two level 30 IDs and one level 35 plus in Claire. <laughs> yeah. I guess I'm pretty lucky to have that in Claire and and the upties. Thanks again for all the advice. <laughs> I, I really do appreciate it. I, I know the learning curve can be kind of <laughs> kind of crazy sometimes. The association names are numbers in different languages. All the way up to seven. Oh, and others. I, I see Kai. <laughs> yeah, I think someone mentioned that earlier too. So they're all different numbers that may or may not be connected to certain centers. <laughs> With the you have an acronym, Ida. <laughs> nice, nice. Furioshio is something she'd actually say. N I W. Wait, what does N I W mean? A lot of people care about D S E association. <laughs> I'll, I'll take your word for it, Void. I will. Because the Sinclair is a borrowed unit from a friend. You can say that you're winning thanks to the power of friendship. That's right, Nokia. That's so right. In the end, friends save the day. <laughs> the power of friendship. Not Heathcliff. Not Uptire. It's only the power of friendship. <laughs> My Sinclair is only not in Claire. Because, like, everyone in there. Oh. <laughs> Everyone uses that Sinclair for support. I see, Yuri. I see. Well, I hope it... I hope it feels good to be a bit different. <laughs> I hope it's working out for you. Nah, I'd win. <laughs> not, not the doomed lion. Don't think we've seen eight or nine yet. Oh, really? Kitsune. But they're probably out there. Right? <laughs> Maybe. Okay. Your Sinclair is not looking a lot like N Sinclair. <gasps> Did I not pick N Sinclair? Wait. Now nah, I'd win. No. <laughs> I really hope. I don't want to spoil that certain manga. I really hope that that character comes back. Or maybe that character's long dead friend comes back. I don't know. I, I really hope we get to see both of them back together somehow. And not just in the afterlife, but maybe that's just me. <laughs> You're right. Okay. We'll use another. And perfect. But each association focuses on different things. Zwei focuses on protection. And DSA focuses on knowledge and runs orphanages. You know what? Face value, that sounds really sweet. Like all the associations are just... Focusing on different things and doing their best. Okay. This feels a, a little more evenly matched, I guess. Or I thought it did. But we're just... I guess it is maybe a little more difficult with more enemies. There are 12 associations. <laughs> he is God, don't worry. <laughs> I mean, maybe Yuri. Maybe. We'll see about that, I guess. Or, wait. And, okay. 
Perfect. Okay. I actually kind of want to see... I want to see Maki just go ham in, in a future chapter. I don't know. I feel like Maki's arc is incredible. <laughs> but yeah, maybe that's just me. I, I've been pretty excited for that ever since what happened. Also, Maki's story feels very R core coded. Like, so much so. It's crazy. Oh, DSE's battle priests. They also read a lot since knowledge is power. Literally. <laughs> oh, the more they know, the harder they hit. And using their attacks causes them to forget things. That's so. That's such an interesting concept, Ida. <laughs> knowledge is power. But then, like, using your power makes it go away. It's not that hard because you leveled up and have friend IDs. <gasps> we don't have the same luck. I, I'll, I'll pour, pour one out for everybody who, who went through this the old-fashioned way. Yeah. I mean, Maki got a limit cap to be there. I mean, kind of, I guess. <laughs> But, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe Maki working together with some of the others. <laughs> but I, I don't want to spoil any any JJK. Luxcavation wasn't a thing. <gasps> wasn't a thing before. So, that's right. You, someone said that earlier. And, and that's why the battle at the top of the casino had to be nerfed. Okay. That makes so much more sense. Luxcavation is my best friend, then. <laughs> okay, we made it through. We're progressing the story. I think we'll go through... I'll get through as many stages as we can to get as close to the dungeon as possible. Any would-be fatal energies we managed to inflict were healed away. Oh, so they can all heal, too. The most pointless fight in the world. Conflict with the wing is an exercise in futility. Yeah, they're all they're all recognizing the difficulty wall. Difficult to continue on with combat. How many of you in chat remember when mirror dungeons had you leveling up your units? It sounds like it was a time. <laughs> Absolutely a time. Is there anything we can do? Helapoises. Mondos lasts for a long time. So we can't defeat them. <laughs> I have arrived at last. <laughs> Who is this? A peal of overwhelmingly energetic laughter. Is this him? The one you were all talking about? Still need to level for, for hard? I mean, I played on release. <laughs> okay, Yuri. <laughs> well, flex more, why don't you? <laughs> I really hoped everything worked out for that kid and, and their parent. A figure. What's that thing running at us? It's all my... <laughs> okay. I, I don't know. I, I'm not sure what to... Virgilus was the only one who showed no surprise. k -Core's superstar. I talk about leveling in the dungeon. <laughs> I see, Kai. Oh, you're right. It is like all my greetings, one and all. <laughs> Wait, you're free to share stories of the heroic feats you witness here. But photographs and more will require permission from k <laughs> I mean, hey, it's the confidence, right? Confidence in yourself is a big part of being successful, maybe? I don't know. Was that the moral from last time? <laughs> a wagey serving a wing. Siegfried. I'm just saying it's pain. <laughs> I, I get that, Yuri. I mean, I don't understand from experience, but I understand how grinding can be pain. 
Oh, we're fighting Seek for Hida. <laughs> Virgil's like, I'm not with them. Don't, don't loop me into this. I'm counting on you to give them a spicy lesson. Okay then. Also, I love the voice acting. <laughs> the privilege of photography. Unfortunately, no. I see, Kai. I see. And of course, Quixote would have heard about <laughs> whoever this is. The man himself. <laughs> Oh, Kekor uses a lot of medical terms. Oh, is this a secret of color? Keep the clock head out of this. Oh, a fixer? Question mark. That's the best quote, guy. Both a skilled fighter and talented performer. Oh, wow. Are you taking selfies too? I'm sure our fans will love it. So we don't even get a chance to fight. One after another, made short work of sinners. Oh. Virgilus is pleased. You may not remember it at the moment. At one point, you used to be something of a pigwag. Were we a color? I was. I just couldn't picture it. Now I'm just a powerless leader who fumbles in any emergency. They've even started treating me as the team's field medic. I mean, that is kind of what we are, to be fair. Uh, probably, but they never say. Wow, Void. I, I want to know more about our backstory now. Maybe just a grade one fixer in Limbus. Oh, you mean Siegfried. Wait, we're very weak. Not a color, but maybe a feather. So we could have been a feather? Or are you talking about Siegfried? <laughs> or maybe both? It feels like the writing from Virgil, like Virgil's lines are trying to draw a parallel between us and Siegfried in some way, as, as bigwigs. I could be wrong. Although Don Quixote got us into trouble, I just know it would have haunted my sleep for days if we turned a blind eye. Welcome back, Anar. <laughs> Doubt Dante being a color, because I imagine Don fangirling over you then. <laughs> I mean, I guess that's kind of true. Or maybe we were like... I guess if we were a big wig, people would have known about us. Interesting. Taking back my head might not be for the best after all, Virgil. Virgilius. Oh yeah, Virgil can't understand us. Siegfried was tiring. <laughs> Why did I say color? <laughs> Oh, Siegfried, not Dante. I see Void. So Dante's maybe like a feather or something. Or probably a color, but they never say. Okay, time to rewind. Siegfried's probably not a color, or they would have used his title. I see Kitsune. I wonder if Siegfried comes back in a later chapter. Or if it's like... It's like Yuri, where they introduce a named character and something happens at the end. I'm gonna go to the out outskirts now. Have a good one, Nazreen. <laughs> Thanks for all your advice and for voting and, and stopping by. Yeah, I hope you have a great rest of your day. <laughs> Siegfried's a star fixer of K-Core, not a color. I see, also, hey, musicals. <laughs> it's great to see you. Interesting. So if Siegfried is just a fixer, I shudder to think of what colors might be like. The League of Excellent Nest Dwelling Fixers. Oh, is... So was, was Virgil a fixer? A high rank fixer before? The dozens of invitations. <laughs> I can swear in this chat and no one's gonna know because people don't understand Portuguese. <laughs> I mean... I, you can, Kai. Yeah. Maybe just... <laughs> don't go too ham with that. But, but yeah. Bye, Nazri. Don't get... <laughs> don't get eaten out there. Real. Real. Vir Virgil is a color. I feel Siegfried is strong enough to be one, but prefers to be a Keiko employee. <gasps> Interesting. Our guide Virgil sought independence as a fixer. 
Someone who is strict to support those with power. I saw Quixote quake and approach Siegfried with shaky hands. <laughs> Aww. Wait, this is so sweet. This is so sweet. Virgil's the color, the red gears. I see, I see. The sick has a cool prosthetic. <laughs> Oh, that's a prosthetic. More than enough for an autograph. Aww. Okay, this is kind of sweet. I know something horrible just happened. That's so wholesome, though. Someone save me, please. I think you're on your own, ghost. But good luck with that. <laughs> yeah, you gotta touch the grass someday. That's so true, Void. <laughs> Code purple dismissed. Job well done. One of Don's best screams. <laughs> I I appreciate happy screams, honestly. Siegfried vanished. And we got travel permits in the end. <laughs> Enough of a fangirl. She's asking for an autograph after getting murdered. Honestly, if the same thing happened to me and I was just like obsessed with someone, I'd probably, <laughs> I'd probably go for an autograph too, not gonna lie. Manager, will you pinch my cheek? <laughs> An armored vehicle stopped before us. Wow, such a big city. Yeah, Don probably has a Siegfried body pillow. <laughs> I didn't read that out in my head before reading it out loud. <laughs> probably more than one. Maybe. Maybe. The clearance department. Uh, it's Effie. Again. A couple of familiar faces appeared out of the car. Bye, ghost. <laughs> have, have fun in the cold. I hope you don't get too cold. Their faces were greased with just as much confidence and poise. The before team. Are they clones too? Or are they just the same? I think they're the same people. Dawn has <laughs> all fixers. Maybe, guy. <laughs> Maybe. And honestly, Dawn is so real for that. <laughs> My chest ached a little at the thought of the harmonious cacophony that was her last operation. You'll make them cry. The LCB department has its own character. How worlds why light? <laughs> Welcome back. We're making progress through chapter three. Is this three four? Or are we past that? I, I've lost track of which <laughs> stage we're on. I got 100 pulls on the grind. Good luck, Umin. Good luck. <laughs> I'll channel all my, my streamer luck for you. <laughs> You're past it. Okay. Thank goodness. <laughs> but yeah, if anyone's just dropping in or skipping through the VOD, we've hit the, the wall, the difficulty wall. <laughs> we'll probably hit another at the dungeon. It's so I hear. But, but yeah. <laughs> Had a lot of that on the battlefield. Our target location. Another faction. My YouTube was bugged yesterday. I'm sorry, Twilight. I'm glad it's fixed. <laughs> I don't know what I'd do without YouTube for a day. Probably go touch grass. <laughs> Gadflies. As Otis pointed out, we weren't new to encounters against groups drawn near the Golden Bows. G-Core. And then gangs. Of course, they get more difficult as we go. It's fine. <laughs> Just later, you're gonna have other walls. Actually, three more. <sighs> okay, Kai. <laughs> okay. Oh yeah, I, I love that we have some returning characters too, Kitsune. Effie and Saad are 
Maybe not <laughs> the kindest people to have around, but I don't know. Seeing familiar faces kind of lightens a bit of the sad parts of the story for me. I don't know. And Cora sent staff in advance. I'm worried we might make enemies of several wings as we go on. There'll be unavoidable steps in the process. Effie and Saad got an announcer pack as part of the battle pass? No way, Ida. Their names... They make the word episode? I didn't realize that. Effie Saad. Is that like how to pronounce episode and... Or something like that in Korean? Yuri got one too, but hers costs... 1300 paid lunacy. Wow. Oh, yeah, Twilight. <laughs> it's. Oh, it's just a pun. I see, Ida. <laughs> I see. But, but yeah, Twilight, it's kind of role playing and kind of gotcha. The story is kind of confusing. We're going through different parts of a city with all of these colorful characters and really sad stories to find golden bows that apparently will help do something <laughs> make the world a better place i don't know there's a lot more to it than that but yeah <laughs> and she's glad that more people know of what she's done <laughs> quixote for example is like this this gung-ho don quixote yes don quixote twilight <laughs> quixote is this like gun Gong Ho, <laughs> like the like warrior of justice, who does a justice every now and then, and kind of gets us in trouble in the process. But it's fine. <laughs> when Virgil went back to the bus, Virgil's kind of like our our parent, our annoyed babysitter, who's actually like really old, like an older babysitter than you might think. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, Dawn's a little... <laughs> a gremlin girl in the game. Absolutely. Absolutely. Okay. On our way to the site, then. Oh, it's a visual novel first. Otherwise, it's a team builder gotcha, I guess. That does make sense, Nokia. I, I can see that. 3-9. Gaining lunacy. Okay. Not a team builder. Oh, because you control their actions. I I don't know the details of all these genres. <laughs> there are so many Uber specific, not just like game genres, but music genres too. It's so confusing. <laughs> it's fine. Oh yeah, and Karen's our our bus driver. She seemed to have a few more words ready. <laughs> oh, I'll buy you something sweet later. Team builders normally are just... Oh, just put in a team and see if they win. I mean, I guess win rate's kind of that way. <laughs> but I see what you mean, Kai. So we're back to our seats. Let's hear your excuse. <laughs> I mean, I I agree with Quixote. No wrong. Okay, it's also a really sad game. I have nothing to blink, so it shouldn't have been possible for me to miss a moment. Oh, Quixote. When I caught up, Quixote brought to the ground. An excuse, not a justification. Three separate incidents already. In one way, when rate we trust, absolutely in our. It's a Christie. I don't know what that is, Zeppeli. Jeopardized our work. What do you think? It's time. Okay, Void. Okay, Hote. Oh, I didn't like the sound of that. Try win right in a focused encounter and see what happens. Yeah. <laughs> I get that the game needs more thinking than that, Kyre. No one stepped in. 
It was evident that disrupting this wasn't going to make the situation better. Oh, I do it all the time when it works out. <laughs> I guess there are different experiences than Ira. Speaking only to be interrupted. Yeah, here we go again, I mean. So can you make any choices in the game? I kind of Twilight, but not really. It's very narrative heavier, but there are some smaller choices like in dungeons, I guess, that aren't super, like, they don't really affect the story all that much. Virgil has what are the equivalent of car engines in his legs. Super fast and his kicks can crush bones probably. But yeah, I think what Void and Umin said, not a ton of story choices. Though I, I really love story, story choice games. If the company insists. Oh, Virgil's face just covered in shadow. I came right back immediately to dawn violence. <laughs> Good timing. Ugh. I'm sure you remember what went down when you joined. What happened that day? So you can't just make pies for everyone. I wish, Twilight. I wish. Someone someone had better make a mod or something. A wholesome for, for Project Moon Limbus Company mod. Watching someone who usually exuded pride and confidence quickly shift didn't exactly make for a pleasant sight. Okay, well that just happened. That makes me wonder what it was about. Ah uh, yes, capitalism. Naokium. <laughs> if Pies, I guess that is kind of true, Kai. This isn't Blue Archive. Maybe I should play Blue Archive. I've heard a lot of people talk about it. This game seems very dark. Yeah, it's Twilight. I need, like, some sort of palate cleanser after this, because it's a lot. I, I usually don't play this more than, like, once a week, because it's so heavy. Though it does have lighter moments here and there that are kind of nice. <laughs> oh yeah, beach volleyball, apparently. I haven't reached that point in the game yet, but people keep bringing it up. <laughs> Volleyball. Very dark is an understatement. For real, Void. For real. We should all be careful from now on. Chapter 3.5 is fun. Okay, I'll look forward to it, Kitsune. <laughs> Heathcliff is still... easily angered, it seems. The universe is dark. The game... Not that much sometimes. You're right, Kai. Like, the setting, really dark. But, I don't know. The game seems kind of kind of fun and cozy. At times, there are some moments that are just really sweet. This was not one of those moments. <laughs> the bus finally departed. And another group, when we hit this part, it takes place during Christmas in Universe. Oh wow, because of how miserable this canto gets. I I see Ida. This is way different from the roads we've been through. First time traveling in the middle of a nest. Oh yeah, so nests are like a little better off parts of the city than the back streets. Which is where we've been up until now. At time it's full dark. Other team. Oh, D D group shenanigans like chapter two. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> have fun grinding with Ark Knight's Void. <laughs> I have to do that later today too. But have you ever considered playing indie games? I really want to, Twilight. Undertale's on my list. A Hollow Knight? Absolutely. Any Cuphead. I've heard Cuphead's hard, but I I will add those to my list. I, I want to have, like, a nice blend of games. <laughs> so, I guess lately it's been a lot of gacha, but I, I feel like I've sprinkled in some smaller indie horror games <laughs> and, like, Nintendo here and there. But, okay. I'll add some more high-profile indie games to my schedule soon. The game got delayed, so this chapter 
Oh, it must be being released near Christmas. I, I see Kitsune. Bus entered a quiet woodland. Smoke. Okay. Rumble tumble. Also, these noises are so loud. Starting from this canto, every story chapter is very heavy. It's still relatively rainbow and sunshine compared to the... So the previous games are darker? I see Zeppeli. I... Okay. <laughs> I'll keep that in mind. The faction the before team warned us about. Encore. Oh. Off the bus. Cuphead is fine. Oh, because you played a lot? Really? <laughs> Very nice guy. A group stood in the way. They're like... Knights or something? The Encore. So they just attacked us and they're blocking the road. Also, it looks so much darker here. It seems like there's like water and a, a skyline back there. The Inquisitors. More like, oh, paladins. I guess that makes sense. Elcor sounds like a light and fluffy game. Okay. Okay, Kitsune. <laughs> to be fair, yeah, the title's kind of weird and ominous, but <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what I was expecting from Elgor. Just tons of madmen. Not looking for any trouble. <laughs> a tour. That's right. And this is a tour bus. The key will log out, got out of hand. Rip the town. Seniors exchanged looks in silence. <laughs> Gregor's acting again. Is this like a running gag? Are you that into these kinds of bits? <laughs> oh. She'll prove yourselves to be untainted. The previous games don't have a lot of down happy time like we have with Limbus Company. Oh. Got it, Nokia. Oh. Such will prove that you are untainted ones. And we can do this because we can resurrect our, our people. And we can't use our bus. I guess we'll just fight, or are we actually going to do this? Okay. Well, it seems like we're fighting here. We started off with LobCorp being an SCP management game, with all the deaths that entail, that entails, and things go from there. Yeah, that does seem like a very dark premise to start off with in our... So we're all heretics in their eyes. Ugh, oh, what an artwork. Okay. Okay. I think I'll, I'll play manually. Oh, I didn't switch on our, our Sinclair this time. I'll do that next time. I have to keep remembering. Okay. Elcor is cute because of the filter, but gets darker every second. Yeah, it does seem that way, Kai. Absolutely. I, I kind of shudder to think about what might be coming next. Okay. And we can try some of these. It's fine. Facing Claire. It's good. <laughs> I'm sorry, Kai. <laughs> I'm sorry. I hope Sinclair makes it through this. I have to keep remembering to use the, the friend unit. I need like a reminder or something. <laughs> Just a little under leveled. I see here. Oh yeah, just a little bit. Sinclair. <laughs> yeah, Sinclair's like level really low. Level 12. No, that's not great. That's not ideal for us here. And let's try that. We'll use Sinclair's defensive moves. 
to try and hold out. I I feel like Sinclair will absolutely not make it through this, but we'll see, I guess. You you can bet that I will be doing so much grinding off stream to make sure we don't get stuck <laughs> in the future. Trust me. Trust chat. <laughs> Real. I I will be a professional at this game. Or at least a little bit better one day. Sinclair is canonically one of the most potential sinners, but is too kind. Oh. I I see a lot of similarities, but also contrasts between Sinclair and Quixote. Maybe that's just me. A dance party contacted us at last. Yeah, we have to do this every time. <laughs> okay. Level 40 support unit. And this should be fine. Okay. The mass murderer in the making, that cat. Going places in the city. I mean, I guess if that's what does well here. Take your time. Muscle memory isn't built constantly, don't worry. <laughs> oh, instantly. Thanks, Zeppeli. I, I do appreciate it. I understand complicated games like this one aren't learned like overnight or anything. At least not without a lot of effort or like a, a ton of focus, but yeah, I, I do want to keep getting better. At least from stream to stream, I want to show progress. <laughs> for information without going into detail, for each three levels the unit gains one clash power. So an enemy clashing with the Sinclair level 10 instead of 20 will have a plus three to win. Yeah, that doesn't sound very good for, <laughs> for little Sinclair. Coming back like that. Oh, Sinclair. Rocha looked at him with pitying eyes. The advanced team. I wonder if they're okay. Most Sinclair IDs... So, in like every other world, Sinclair is living out that potential you mentioned before. But here, Sinclair's like holding it together, being super kind to a lot of people. Oh, so that's not Effie. They were found by more Inquisitors. Oh, that was a creepy noise too. Did anyone mention Enclair has negative coins? Is that for... I think someone mentioned that. Oh, there's something. Base corrosion. Yeah. To watch out for corrosion with Enclair. Is that what you're talking about, Kitsune? <laughs> the whistles, yeah. That, that creeped me out. I, I thought for a sec that was IRL. <laughs> it's her. After all this time to destroy the rest of our town. Whistles. Yeah, and who is this? I think this is the most worked up we've seen Sinclair the whole game. Resentful tears were streaming from Sinclair's face as he rambled. Some more of those people. The psychological breakdown of this boy begins now. Ugh. It's fine. It's fine. I don't want to go. The voice acting is so heartbreaking, too. Some correction. It's not level, it's offense level. Every, th every three offense levels, you have more than the target. You get plus one power and clash. That's an important distinction, I guess. <laughs> I, I will keep that in mind, Kai. Aldis calmly flicked her wrist. That's so sad. We're forcing Sinclair to go into this. That might be a bit too far. Plus, I feel like we we need Sinclair because of resonating with the golden bow. If, if, the, if that through line is still present in this chapter. 
in this canto, but we'll see. I couldn't bring myself to ask why. Oh, the others are all out fighting. Oh, Sinclair is so defeated. And Claire has negative coins, so he works better at negative sanity. I didn't realize that. Wants low sanity, so he flips tails on his coins. Heads lowers his clash. So with lower sanity, Sinclair can tolerate or get through things. Is that like representative maybe of Sinclair's mindset? Oh, oh there. <laughs> All there. I also wonder what the stories of all these inquisitors are. Like what brought them to this point? Were they forced against their will? Or just recruited? I have so many questions that the game probably will never answer. Oh, I also need to go read that prequel comic too. The theme with Sinclair and the book he's from Demian is the duality. IDs represent this in different ways. Some by having Sinclair going into a trance when fighting, or switching personality. Duality. Okay. So like, kindness and... Like, like, rage, I guess. I don't know what the opposite of... Malice? Kindness and malice? And then showing it in different, like, alternate universes. Sinclair's book does very little to clarify. Oh, since it's very esoteric. Demian, the story of Emil Sinclair's youth. Another on the list. <laughs> but thanks for that, Ida. Sinclair in combat for Encore's ID. Oh, that's such a sad game mechanic, but also such a powerful storytelling means. Like, I don't know. I feel like I feel the pain of the story so much more because of how it's being told. And it's like, it's not comfortable, it's not fun, it's horrifying and sad, but, but like, I don't know, it makes me feel something, which might be the point of some of these stories. There are some answers about what, oh, whatever, okay, with the Encore Inquisitors and the different Encore IDs. <sighs> Interesting. All right, time to uptie all my, I don't think I have any Encore IDs yet. But when I get them, <laughs> I'll, I'll be sure to uptie to three. Okay. So there are 22 stages. Okay. I think we have time for a few more of the years. I'll, I'll try and get through as many as we can, so we can have a, a good shot of getting through the dungeon, at least by the next stream. But yeah. So who are you fighting? So... There are a lot of these corporations or like companies, Twilight, that I think protect different parts of the city. And some are like very corrupt. I, I don't know if we technically count as one, but yeah, a group of people, I'm assuming who were forced to this by some sort of circumstances. It's very tragic, I think. <laughs> Project Moon storytelling is peak smiley face. <laughs> I mean, yeah, yeah, I, I don't know if I've ever felt as much Memento, that's such a clever name, <laughs> Memento Mori, just, just subscribed. I, I didn't see, I know Memento Mori is like Latin, right? I, I didn't really see much of the, wasn't there a Markiplier channel with, with someone else that was like a year and then it was deleted? I didn't see much of that. I've only seen like clips here and there, but I, I don't know if that's what, what it's from. For some like Encore Dawn, it's very off-putting that she isn't indoctrinated and is just, wow, they're all corrupt, including yours. It's like, yeah, everyone's going for their own self-interest in some way. I feel like they've been shaped by their pasts too. It's like a whole mess of characters. And maybe they all represent different, I don't know, traumas or something. I haven't looked into it super deeply. I feel like there's there's so many parallels and symbolism. There's a lot here. The dark world bu building makes all those beautiful moments shine brighter. 
Yeah, the contrast for real Zeppeli. Like the moments that are so sad make me appreciate the happier ones and the lighter ones so much more. And I think also, like even in, in real life in some ways, <laughs> I like I find myself appreciating a lot of the things I do have. And that my life isn't like this. <laughs> you know? Look at Iris filling all the tea about Angkor. <laughs> I mean, I, I don't think those were huge spoilers, no I, I'll trust all of you to self-regulate spoilers, since I don't really know what makes a big spoiler. There are things such as, oh, guns, or do they, do they stubbornly just use ancient swords? I, I actually don't know, Twilight. There, isn't there a reason? Is it because they're like too expensive in this world or something? I feel like someone said something about that. People don't use firearms because of taxes? I don't know. I honestly don't mind the lack of guns. <laughs> 3.13. Okay. Let's do this. I didn't select- I'm going back. I'm going back. I'm so going back. Wait, can I quit from here? I don't think I can. It's fine. Okay. The smoke covers the whole town. Are the Inquisitors burning the town? They have guns, but ammo is taxed a lot. Oh. There are also ways to augment humans. I see. It's run by a series of mega corporations that each have bits of tech that are advanced enough to be considered magic. The song evoked various memories in the group. I could still feel a faint splash of feeling from deep in my heart. Oh, there are people. I didn't notice those before. Like, just strewn about. There are also these, like, sirens, I'm assuming. And this is meant to be released around the holidays. This was the part of the story. An ache. A sting is what I felt. With snowy like this. No major story events, but IDs. You might not get for a very long time. <laughs> I, I I do appreciate that, Ida. The trees before us were decorated with grim ornaments. Oh, those are like bits of people. Oh. And Ryoshu, of course, would be into it. Oh yeah, Ryoshi was a shotgun. Really? Hypertaxed and high-ranking people. I see. Killing with bullets is a disgrace to the value of human life. Oh, people blocks bullets. I mean, the English is kind of nice. A piercing sound. You're Noel. It's not anytime soon. Cromer. Nagal Untama. A humanitarian. The head. The leader of the city who rules the city with a laissez faire and cruel iron fist. Basically does nothing except enforce patents. This sounds like this sounds like capitalism taken to really bad extreme. <laughs> And they tax everyone. The head acts in really weird ways, and no one really knows what they're thinking. You think that the head is an AI? Really? What a theory. Oh, a certain washed up grade 9 fixer's words. She's here. <laughs> Today's the nativity, after all. Is Guido there? Are you talking about Sinclair? Oh, that's Guido. Oh, the noises. Sinclair, yeah, losing it in that peck. For real. He gazes at me for a very long time. Those eyes. They froze. Hammer and nail. 
Yeah, the nail sound car. For real. Oh, and this is who, this is who St. Clair didn't want to run into. A familiar spot. Oh. They pay their taxes. They're a syndicate for a reason. So there are lots of rules, but some people get to break them. If they're in, like, good graces or, or pay enough money. That's so sad. Okay. The one who grips. And that's Sinclair. Okay then. A number of inquisitors gathered around Guido. His presence is threatening enough. Okay, well it's us against Guido, I guess. Or some inquisitors. I mean, we, we don't really know much about the head. Oh, you think it's unfair to say they do nothing but enforce the rules? Oh, but more details would mean massive spoilers from library. Okay, Flo. <laughs> Feel free to theorize in the Discord channel if you don't mind spoiler spoilering things. <laughs> I, I don't mind a lot of that sort of discourse. They respect honor above all else, so it stands to reason they pay taxes due to those above them. Yeah, ha happy holidays, everybody. It's really happy and <laughs> definitely not tragic here. Okay. So, us against a lot more of these Inquisitors. I still have the wrong Sinclair. Let's hope we can get through just fine with the matches that we have. Wave two. There are three waves. Sinclair's doing okay. I wasn't actually expecting that. Maybe the matchups are just more favored here. Okay. 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 <laughs> okay. I, I'm gonna have to take some time and just process this. So many tragic things happen in the story, like run after the other. I don't know. I feel like I've, I've just got to take a while and like cry it out later. I feel so bad for all these characters. Mae Sinclair is good. Did you generate a counter expecting win rate to use it? I mean, <laughs> I mean, I thought I thought about it, Elemental. I did. Because I wasn't sure if with like an underleveled Sinclair I should be using the defensive moves instead. Like counters, evade, block. But I guess the win rate had something else in mind. <laughs> well, you, well, you did that. Yeah, just one more way. We're getting lots of really effective moves. You did it again. Oh wait, was I? <laughs> I knew I was using win rate. Oh, it never uses the defensive skills. Auto battle doesn't. Got it, Zeppelier. <laughs> I wasn't sure. I know it, it uses egos automatically. So I guess I kind of assumed after seeing win rate use egos. But right, that makes sense. <laughs> using the counter wasn't a bad idea, but defensive moves are never chosen. Oh, by either of these. Okay, Sinclair's health is kind of fine. So, I think we'll keep win rating. I'll switch to Enclair next round, next stage, and then think a little more critically about this. <laughs> you know, it wouldn't surprise me if pulling for IDs was Dante reaching into an interdimensional closet and grabbing costumes. <laughs> I mean, that works too, Ida. I, pulling for IDs, though, they show, like, all those chains wrapped up in what looks like the side of the, the bus. So it makes me wonder where exactly they come from. Yeah, exactly, Kai. Guido. <laughs> Maybe Guido's intentions are pure, but... 
Oh. I don't want Guido or anybody to hurt Sinclair. I'm Guido's biggest hater. <laughs> A tough opponent. I feel like I want to better understand Guido, honestly. Hey, Van Zero Archive. <laughs> Welcome in. Oh yeah, for real. If you have any advice, backseating is more than welcomed here. I'm still learning. <laughs> but I'm excited to try out more of Limpus and Project Moon eventually. That's not someone we can beat easily. And defense skills carry over each turn. Got it, Elemental. The automata was so annoying. <laughs> it's so annoying. Is that is that Portuguese guy? <laughs> Otis backed down. Oh, here we go. Sinclair's sad backstory. Overwhelmed with dread. The actual mechanism for pulling IDs is Dante reaching into the mirror. He doesn't know. Oh, they don't know what they're pulling at until they get hold of the respective card. I see, Ida. I see. So, like. Is that what mirror dungeons? Is it related to mirror dungeons? Or are they just called that because we can grind for more pulls from mirrors? Even in mirror dungeon, they still come back. My house. Here we go. Dante also has a device. Oh, they put into the cards. To use the ideas. I met her at school. Oh. Mirror dungeons. Oh, is a door in the hallway at the back of the bus that they go into to train. Cromer killed my family. Lights and sparks flickered within. Why did you return? Your neighbors. It'll be explained a bit more in Canto 4. But yeah, they're pretty much related. Wow's up a I really hope that isn't the case, though. Yeah, like every part of the interface is actually a real thing in the universe. The 12 cards you see when organizing your sinners is how Dante uses the Limbus Company issued tablet. I love when, like, everything in the menus are canon. I think Xenoblade 3 did something like that. Like, all the UI is is exactly what, or very close to what, the, the characters are seeing, too. I don't think you need to explain things. Oh, that I'll see in future cutscenes. Or heresy to them. Is that all they're really against? Prosthetic body parts? Many people still find them foreign and alienating. Which is why we weren't accepted at the beginning. The holy site of Nestke's prosthetic industry. So what changed? Cromer showed up here? If they can't afford to give Dante <laughs> a text-to-speech app. Some things are apparently outside the company's budget, sadly. <laughs> Everything is canon. Even April Fools. The tablet thing was a login event that no longer runs. I... Well, thanks for sharing that, Ida. <laughs> I don't know if I would have found out otherwise. Everything you can see in the main lobby is in Mephi. Oh... Sinclair turned to me. How does it feel to have a prosthetic replacement for your head? No one's ever asked this question before. I, I guess I never realized that this might not have been our original head. And that's canon. <laughs> Everything you can see, give Dante a notepad or TTS. <laughs> this type of thing isn't easy to understand at first glance. So explain it's not a problem. I, I see, Kai. <laughs> Nintendo, no worries. 
Thanks for helping explain a bit. The April Fools of it was canon. <laughs> Very nice. I'm pretty sure Dante's note and related cutscenes are unlocked in between chapters now. I'll have to go check those, Nokia. No different from wearing a hat or a watch. But I just couldn't picture it. Now I'm the only survivor. Because Sinclair wasn't a fan of prosthetics, so Sinclair was spared. The April Fool's event is the only scene that isn't available anymore in the game. I, I did watch it on YouTube, Kitsune. <laughs> it was really funny. Yeah, like the horse world and Ark Knights and some others. I think Blue... No, now I'm blinking. The game. Blue something was also there. The unpleasant sounds of sparks and flames filled the street. But yeah, someone shared the link to the April Fool's video in Discord. <laughs> so I did go check it out. Dante's notes are not related to any story thing, but they were part of an update. It, intru it introduced Dante's lore encyclopedia. Okay, Dante's notes. Would they be... So all of this is what we see in our tablet. Like, this is the tablet, maybe. The archive, yeah. Oh, Arknights and Uma Musume. Thanks, Nokia and Ida. My best advice, only a battle pass is needed to get every ID and ego with the yellow boxes. If you do dailies, every day in Mirror Dungeon on hard. Thanks, Fan Zero. <laughs> I have heard that. Okay, theater. Dante's notes, clear 3.59. Okay, soon. Soon. One day. <laughs> but Identity Archive. Okay. I'm not sure exactly. Do these let us go watch those cutscenes from Uptice? And we can go review the story here. We don't have detours yet. Soon. Soon. So you gotta do the first Intervalio to unlock it. And is that... Is that this? Open Dawn 1 and go Dawn 1 and go to Idle. Wait, what do you mean? <laughs> oh, in theater. Okay. Back to theater and then Dawn. The requirements. Oh, the audio? And this is where we can go see her? Okay. From what I see, first part of Dante's notes and the cutscenes are unlocked after chapter 3.5, the base. Oh, here's the audio. Got it. <laughs> Thanks, everybody. Oh, okay. The second part is after chapter 4.5. You can now see those mini episodes in the drive menu. Soon. Soon I'll unlock those. Okay. Let's go claim some more rewards. We love to see it. We love to see it. I, I do think it's nice that I can claim some of these without having access to the event. I don't know. <laughs> I appreciate it. More extraction tickets. Oh, there's a lot to collect here. All the way to 60. What do we get with 60? Another scan? Eco shard greats. All right then. Don's idols legendary? Okay, fine. <laughs> and listen to Don's chatter. All right then. Okay, chatter and idol. Lent an eye. Aww. I don't know what Don is meant to be showing us here. <laughs> Fixers. You can do a 10 pull with 10 tickets instead of lunacy. Do we have 10 tickets? Which fixer is your favorite? <laughs> Dawn feels like, like a VTuber fan or something. Like with Oshis and everything. 
Oh. <laughs> so this is what happens if we like leave on on the main screen for too long. That's so funny, Van Zero. <laughs> okay. Well, let's go. So we have we have tickets. You're right. You're right. Extract one. Is this just one or a full ten? Oh, it is just one. Okay. Would it be better if I saved ten of these tickets? My favorite's the Vermilion Cross. Just one. Okay. I, I see. If you get ten, you can pull ten. I think I might save tickets then and then have some ten pulls so we get guaranteed two or higher. But, but yeah, thanks for bringing that up. <laughs> Four, no. <laughs> and we don't have a ton of lunacy. Are there any more things we can claim? Nothing yet. Okay. I, I feel like this is a good place to end. You can try doing single pulls on Otis since you don't have better odds. Oh, on her ego attack by doing 10 pull. Probably is a 10 pull in the rewards. So, so go with it anywhere. Here. Okay. I'll I'll use what I have and then maybe save some tickets next time since we don't have a ton. <laughs> okay, we'll finish out with some fun pulls. Is it a surprise a higher rarity? Though I guess it is nice to get more of these eco shards. There's no ten pulls in the rewards. Got it, elemental. What will it be? <laughs> oh, another Otis. Okay. Well, this has been fun. I have much grinding left to do. All the single extraction tickets add up to a 10 pull. Got it, Elemental. I will keep that in mind going forward. What else do I have? Okay. I have some dailies and weeklies to finish up off stream. <laughs> but. Thanks so much for dropping by, giving me all the advice you have, helping lighten the mood with an otherwise pretty sad story. And, <laughs> and yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me just switch over some things. And. Game capture. Convert your sanity to modules. Thank you, Fan Zero. I, I don't have the game pulled up, but <laughs> you can't see it, but I'm doing that as we speak. All of these modules. Seven. <laughs> okay. Thanks for the reminder. I have been logging in. I'll have to keep doing that on days when I can't play a ton. And yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was a good stream. Bye, Nokium. Thanks for dropping by. <laughs> that, that was heavy. That was really heavy. So if you need, please go watch some like cute cat videos or something else more wholesome than that. <laughs> We'll be back with a much more wholesome game tomorrow. Reverse 1999's, 1999's new update. <laughs> and the 50 plus pulls I've got saved back. <laughs> so yeah. Hey CJM. Welcome in. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Feel free to go catch the VOD if you're like just getting here. Thanks Elemental Fan Zero. Oh yeah, the rest for this week is the same time tomorrow. I have the schedule in my community tab on the channel too, in case anyone wants to go check it out. <laughs> More like drama. You're right, Elemental. You're right. But compared to Project Moon, Reverse 1999 is pretty wholesome, right? I'll, I'll delude myself into believing that. <laughs> but yeah. By the small moments in morning make my bad moments less bad. Thanks for dropping by, Kai. <laughs> I am glad you enjoyed it. Bye, Genex, Kai, Elemental, Nokia, Fan Zero, CJM, <laughs> and anyone else who might be catching a VOD or, or lurking. I really appreciate each and every one of you. I, I know I say this a lot, but I really do. So, <laughs> without further ado, I will see you star side. <laughs> bye bye. Bye. <laughs>